Spin in the Podcast. SPI the Most Easty back again. Special episode. Special amount of people. Two very special guests. One of them is like my label mate, I guess we'd call it. Uh, Munchie B. Welcome to the platform. Facts over feelings, even though this is your home. Yep, yep. And um, we could call him a co host slash guest. And another one is a long MC, local Los Angeles native comrade of mine who's been around longer than I can remember. He feel like a brother from another mother. For real. My nigga's uh, supervision. What's happening with you? Welcome to the platform. What's up, big dog? You know what it is. Can't call it, man. Uh, you guys not used to um, hearing or seeing me have multiple guests or a co-host. Today, me and uh, Munchie B creating our platforms out of the same um, umbrella. I felt motivated to invite him to be a co-host slash co-guest, co-guest today because of my uh, supervision. And if anybody is surprised by the name or not sure what it indicates, his super, he considers his vision super or it is super because the average person would consider it lacking. And he's an MC that is um, also an artist, uh, a, a writer, a videographer. And entrepreneur. He has entrepreneur, <laughs> hustler. Yeah, absolutely. He's from this LA street scene. We're going to allow him to introduce himself. We're going to get some background on him. He has some amazing projects um, on deck, too. But I invited my homie Munchie B because I'm interested in just seeing how the two of them relate to a lot of concepts and ideas that um, us who are not in their position may have. And I thought it might be very interesting. I was extremely right for those in the listening world and the viewing world. We've already had like a conversation worth five podcasts just sitting here waiting on the technical side to develop. These two dudes are very entertaining, interesting, and I can't wait to get into this. But uh, Supervision, man, you hit me up after I don't know how long last time I heard seen from you. I love you, cousin. Love you too, cousin. On my mama, mama. It seemed like we go back to since uh, we was doing talent shows around the city. He was always there. Yes, sir. And um, I want to say one thing on camera that I said before. Tell me what the a vision is super because I remember we could be at a big venue, tons of people. We could be on opposite sides of it. I spot you, so I'll be like, ooh, let me go holler at my nigga. And as I make my way across there, as I approach you. Was there somebody whispering in your ear telling you I was coming? Because before, even happened today, I haven't seen you in years, but today, when I walked up to you for some, what is it something? How do you know it's me? So, you know, the funniest thing about you, Spider, uh, you've always had a unique. Uh, this nigga just didn't start sounding like this. This nigga sounded like this at 14. Like he just smoked <laughs> cigarettes at 14. So the nigga had a very unique sound. And, uh, and pretty much everybody has a sound indicator. I don't know, it's God, it ain't me. And um, I'm just, you know, a, a, a hyper intellect. So uh, that, you know what I mean, when I, when I can hear, you might be walking in talking to somebody else. You a loud motherfucker already, you know what I'm saying? So you might be walking in talking to somebody else. And I was like, that's that nigga Spider. That's you know what I mean? <laughs> spider low. You know what I mean? Yeah, he, you were calling out similar to that yeah, so yeah, ahead yeah. of time. It'll blow my mind. But you know why I can resonate with what you're saying? Because so often I could be in the gas station, liquor store, in public, minding my business, and nobody around me would bother me. And then I might answer my phone and say something, and then the person behind me would be like, spot a note? Yeah. Because as soon as they hear my voice. Very recognizable yeah, voice. Uh, Yo, your voice yeah. distinct, um, though. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, everybody always knew that about you, and and mm. that's that's what I, I took from, you know what I mean, as you grown in your career, um, I'm like, you know, that nigga always had a unique ass voice, so, you know what I mean? I, so, I, I, I've always had that imprinted in my mind. That would trigger one of the questions that I would like to ask the both of you. Um, so like we've been told all our lives with the senses, when one is like, um, taken away, the others are enhanced. So based on the fact you since adolescence and you since what, teen, young adulthood? 2012, like 21, 22. Yeah. Very young adult. And, and you was like elementary school. Yeah. He got more time than me with it. Correct. Um, but is there an enhancement of the other senses for you to be able to navigate what's going on in your immediate reality? Absolutely. Uh, from my standpoint, um, I'm totally in tune 
with my 360 degree circumference at all times. So I know where everybody is sitting or standing in this room, whether they talking or not, because they have to make some kind of noise. The, the camera guy, he's across from me. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm thinking about 10 feet. You is, know he, I mean? is he at three, four, five, six, or 12 o'clock? I think he's right at 12. If I, if I, if I, if I, and I'll, if I threw a, a, a golf ball, I'd knock his face off. Bing! I'm you, telling you, no I, disrespect, I, Big Dog. For those who can't see the camera guy, he is absolutely correct. You know, and that's just the circumference. And then I got, my, and then I got my goon. He's sitting, he's sitting all the way to the left, ducked off in the corner. Indeed. You know what I mean? Indeed, he is. And and I don't even even have to know that, but I know where where my goons be. You know what I mean? That's just how how is that, is that a sound, feeling, or smell? It's a it's a it's a vibration and it's a connection that that you know because you get to know people's mo. He ain't the camera dude like that. You know what I mean? Um, but so, so those are listening and viewing. This is the one individual that accompanied him accompanied him here. So it seems like you're expressing you know his movements better than you know the average humans. Nah, I just know everybody movements. I I, I got to. You know what I mean? Um, me not knowing is going to be detrimental to me. So as a boss and as a, a a motherfucker that has to control my environment, you know what I mean, as the key key person in whatever I'm doing, I got to be aware of, of, of the room, the setting, who's moving, where they moving, what they got, what they doing, how they moving, what they thinking. I'm even reading their minds. Munchie B, he just described you as far as like myself. When we in a situation... That's how we move, we that guy. Do you have a similar experience, you know what I'm saying, still being that guy when you move with your guys and having to compensate for similar experience? Was it different? So what you're saying, like, <clears throat> when we out and about, how, how we moving about? And, uh... Because you maintain a certain level of respect, mm -hmm. although, you know, the condition that you face with, and I see it, others see it, and, you know, do you, do you feel like it's something you had to establish? Or do you feel like it's because what you was beforehand, your your circle automatically give you that, or do you have to still do things to maintain it? I I, uh, I go circumstantial, depending on where I'm about to push to. All right, if I'm going over here, I'm saying I'm gonna have the troopers with me. But a lot of times, and they, I get complaints, I, I just push for me and a female, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I just. I, I ain't PTSD'd up or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's the like, best way to roll. Like, I, I, I'll be cool, but you know, I, I know how to assess situations and shit like that. And I know when they, you know what I'm saying, troop up and go to certain, you know what I'm saying? I just got to play it by ear like that. You know what I'm saying? But I, 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 ain't, I ain't super PTSD'd up, uh, nervous or, you know what I'm saying? I'll be Ubering all over the place. Alex will tell you. I get that. And then with you being under, with you under, I could. I understand, but one thing, 50 Cent, we all was introduced to him being shot nine times. I remember he used to tell me this, based on that experience, he was like, my fear factor is almost non-existent, Spider. So you think because through the trauma, and I could imagine you had, at one point throughout your ordeal, you may have, you had to have given up on life, like it's over. So did you come to a grips with that to where now it's like hard to bother you? I, I, that fear shit he said that, that that that's 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 dead on. But but no, I I ain't, I ain't, I ain't never went into no depression or nothing. I was just puzzled on how like I'm all right, I'm about to I'm a move move uh as normal as possible moving forward. You know what I mean? Because I ain't done yet. Nigga, I'm like you know what I'm saying. And they was just just doing like mm. doing some that's some right. asshole shit the day before and some what you know what I'm saying. I ain't done. So I just wanted to make sure I could program it and do the, the normal shit I I was doing in the past. And, and once I figured it out, I got my foot in it. I, I was cool, but I, I ain't never, uh, I ain't never uh, went through like no depression or none of that shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't experience the depression shit either. Even though I was much younger, I was like nine, right? And uh, I, I, the accident happened or the incident, whatever the fuck you want to call mind, it. You mind elaborating on what took place? Uh, yeah. I, um, <clears throat> me and my family, me and my two, I, I got two older brothers. And a younger brother, but me and my uh, two older brothers and my mom, we had moved uh, to L.A. in like 81. And uh, this when the crack e epidemic was mm -hmm. popping. I mean, and, and, and Nissan trucks, my Nissan trucks, my nigga, everybody had Jerry curls. Yeah. If they didn't have Jerry curls, they had like Aunt your mama rags on their face like they was like zombies. And they had a gang of like Bay Bay's kids, like just badass kids, just wild as fuck. 
And uh, me and my brothers, we had uh, we had just moved actually in uh, my neighborhood uh, before it was my neighborhood. Which is um, what area? You know, it's, to... yeah, it's Normandy, uh, Normandy and Ninety Third Street. Okay. And um, and we moved we moved on on the, on the block or whatever. And uh, they had a gang of crack 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 houses and a gang of um, uh, Bay Bay's kids. It's it's crazy because I I knew like Benzo Al and, mm. and and different niggas that uh that worked with Freeway Rick and shit like that because they was living on on my block. Okay, they had crack houses on my block, so uh we got into it. They had a family that was living right next door. They might have had like like eight brothers and like. Three sisters or one up in that environment were you ever affiliated or uh, pressured or motivated to be involved in any type of street gang situation? No, nah, I think that was just organic. That organically happened coming oh, you from were. New Orleans. Yeah, but coming from New Orleans, we was you know it was just family first, and we was kids. As we grew up in the environment of L.A. From New Orleans, at what age did you come to L.A.? We came to L.A. when I was like six, mm. right? And uh, and we actually came out here before, uh, when I was like three or four, and we lived in the jungles, and we lived on on like Thirty Sixth Street, and, and and between Normandy and Butlong in the Brims. And then when we, <clears throat> my mom moved us back to, excuse me, moved us back to New Orleans. We came back out here maybe a couple years later, once she got her bag right or whatever. In '83, don't forget if I threw you off my back. Nah, we we on the story of to the, the, the street the popping on 93rd. The incident. To yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm getting right okay, to that. Go right, right now. go ahead, go ahead. So my bad. when we moved back out here in '93 on 93rd, uh, like I said, it was crackheads and crack babies and shit, and we got into it with a family that right next door. My mm -hmm. brothers got into it with them, and you know, what I mean, it was all for one, one for all. So we ended up fighting like. Eight brothers mm. and uh, one of the little motherfuckers. I was fucking this little nigga up, so you know they would run behind this gate and pick up glass bottles and shit and throw them at us, mm. right? And uh, we from the projects. It's some wild shit, but I ain't never had niggas just throwing just glass bottles and shit, <laughs> right? Right, right. So niggas throwing glass and shit. I got this cardboard in front of my face because I'm like trying to like duck the the glass, and uh, I look up and the nigga caught me in the eye. Uh, with a bottle? Yeah, with a broken bottle. Wow. Yeah, fucked me up. And uh and then uh and then from that I caught uh I went in the hospital, they trying to fix the eye. Through that I caught pink eye. Then uh uh boom, um uh, uh the other eye started being infected. I guess cause I was such a young dude, you know, six, seven mm. years old, the trauma, it started fucking with the other eye, so the other eye uh, uh, start getting glaucoma, so then they had to put a laser on that motherfucker, and then it developed into a cataract, so the motherfucker was deteriorating, right? Mm. So they sent me to uh, to the NIH in uh, in Washington D.C. in in Maryland. They sent me to the National Institutes of Health to do an experiment on my on my eyes to try mm. to get my sight back, and that failed. But uh, that was a cold story. So I made a movie about all this shit because <clears throat> I wanted people to understand. How, you know what I mean, uh, uh, the whole process went of me losing my sight. I can't say that it just happened overnight and I was, you know, blind or without sight. It was a gradual process. But like like Munchie B said, I didn't go through, my mom and my brothers really didn't let me go through the depression period. You feel me? Do you feel, so are you left in a, a state of darkness? Uh, nah, it really ain't darkness. It's, it's, it's more dark with these fucking shades on. Okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? But uh, not. Nah. What, what the hell? Wait a minute. Yeah. I see something in your eyes that's not natural. Is them stones or is that metal? Yeah, nah. What happened is, like I was saying, I went to the <laughs> NIH. So they 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 eradicated my, uh, my eyes, right? So, um, so I had uh, prosthetics. Mm. You feel me? They had to put prosthetics in. And over the years, as I grown, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I would go to the uh to the cosmetic doctor every like couple years because your eye socket grows every few years. Mm. Right? So, you know, you just think starting at 10, so 10, boom, at like 16, I went back. At 20 something, I went back. So, boom, I'm steady going back, getting uh the, the eye adjusted 
you know what I mean? The, the prosthetics adjusted because my, you know, my face is growing and shit. And uh, mm. and at some point, um, I had just signed the Mario Winans and, 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 and through a bad boy situation. And, um, you know, Mario, he had just hit me with some bread. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> and I'm like, fuck it. I need to do something to, to stand out as an artist, mm. right? I'm fucking with bad boy now. I need to do something to right. stand out. So I went to the cosmetic doctor. and But this time I brought... Um, you know, me and my brother went to the jeweler and shit, picked out some, 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 you know what I mean, IF flawless diamonds, you know what I mean? Like we looking, he looking at the motherfuckers with magnifying glasses and, and tweezers and shit, right? Uh-huh. Going through, finding the right ones. And then we took it to the cosmetic doctor and, uh, and he charged me some bread and implanted them uh, into my uh, prosthetic. Wow, I, so, so they're part of the prosthetic and not your actual. Yeah, these. these they come out yeah. like a contact. You didn't have to do us like that, yeah. damn. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, we real on spider you shit. You a cold nigga. We real on spider Facts shit. I want niggas fit. to know I'm a real he, he nigga. He did some crazy shit. Uh, I mean, man, I, can pull, I can pull my pistol just as fast, nah, my nigga. He, and he ain't lying, though. I pull that yapper just as fast. Go ahead, Munchie B. I believe you. No, 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 I believe you. Yeah, he just did some shit. Yeah. For our viewers, that was real raw and uncut. Yeah. Uh, Fuck it, we raw. I know you was an MC, bro. Where, where did the... Um, inspiration to become a rapper. How long has you been rapping? Because it seems like you rap as if, and this is a, I'll, I'll say that for the next question, but I'll, I'll get to that question. Tell me, where did your inspiration from being an MC? How long you been rapping? Well, um, like after, so after I after I lost my sight, and I I just want to say, uh, put a disclaimer out there before I go on. I don't want no bitches in public walking up to me like, pull your eye out or none of that shit. I'd rather pull my dick out and show you the dick out. So always remember that if you approach me in public, don't be on no corny shit because I, you know what I mean? I but up on you. I, I, quick disclaimer, and, huh? And I don't think I let him make it clear enough to what he had inserted or what do you, what's the proper word? The implants? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, canary yellow diamonds. You got canary yellow. Yeah, yeah, canary thing. yellow diamond. I just wanted to, cause I, you know what I mean. It's like, you know, Fifty Cent had the muscles, and this nigga had, the, you know, Nelly had the band aid on his face at the time and shit. So I'm wondering, what the fuck can I do to differentiate myself? Cause really, the fucked up thing at the time, I had just left Capitol Records, right? Mm. And and the fucking shit had backfired on me because hey, that, that's two labels. That's two different deals. Yeah, yeah, two okay, different. Talk I think to I've us. gotten bread. Talk to us, bro. Right. Talk to us. Really, really, with this rap shit, I've gotten bread. And, and the glory be to God. I want to put that first because you know when you ask me how did I become an MC, it was a God given gift. My dad was a singer and, and, and a vocalist, so I was always good use, using my vocal tool and shit like that. But um, do you realize you speak at like an elevated volume? Uh, uh, adjusted to the normal, your decibels or Munchie B don't do that, but you speak like you compensating or you, you go, you speak very loudly. Are you aware of that? Nah, I don't. That's, that's the MC in you, huh? That's, that's the, MC. the MC in me. That's, you know what I mean? I, I'm a leader, you know, and, and when you ask me, like, how do I do shit? I command a room. I was always taught Definitely to be do. a master of ceremony, a master of commanding the room. So mm-hmm. when I speak, you know what I mean? I'm going to be articulate and I'm going to be def- definite. Indeed. So you're going to know exactly what the fuck I'm saying and how I feel about whatever I'm talking about. And, and you know, I'm going to always put fact on it because, you know, uh, in the wise words of my my, my big homie Sule, you know, bullshit ain't nothing, man. You know what I mean? So I, I don't waste too much time speaking on bullshit. I want to ask the both of you this. First, I'll ask you much. I'm going to put my stunners back on, man. Please do because I was following your lead. I put mine back I'm on. put my stunners back what on. What is the... Can you kind of like describe if you ever, I don't know if it's a thought ever crossed your mind or anybody ever asked you this question, but can you describe what you would imagine the difference would be someone born without sight versus someone who has a memory or can remember and still probably slightly to a certain degree detect how things used to look? Do you feel like you have a benefit maneuvering through life, the fact that you have some remembrance of how things were situated versus someone who never had any idea? Yeah, if I uh, I think if I would have been born blind, it would have been more difficult. If I been anywhere before me getting shot, and I been I go back there, I'm I'm all through there. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. Like, 
Yeah, hell yeah. Like, can yeah. I can I say something? I didn't want to interrupt you much. You big oh, dog, but I just want to let you know if you didn't, we we the flyest mother, we the <laughs> flyest blind motherfuckers on the planet. Like, all hey that hey part. sighted niggas, all that y'all part. bitches like us. Hey, oh, hey, swear to God, trying to give it up to you right here. Swear to God, hey, hey, we'll find it. Hey, we'll find it. Hey, you find it. Hey, swear to God, all the bitches like us. I hey, I've been knowing this nigga for a minute. This my nigga. I, 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 he been hearing about me. You know the bitches talk about us mutually. <laughs> you know what it is. And and then and then I'm reputable from my side of town. You know what I mean? Off the die, and he reputable from, from from out of Inglewood, and I've been hearing about this nigga. He, I'm sure this nigga been hearing about me, so it's like, it, it's, it's love. Thank you for introducing me to my blood cousin. No, indeed. Mm. Tell you know me this. This is my oh, guy. Since you took this is my there, guy. I, I would like both. We, we we stepping on you, sighted niggas next. I want. <laughs> I mean, we are. Ah, that part. We my we just stepping closed. on you niggas next, nah, my, my nigga. Closed. I'm right with y'all. My eyes closed. You know what I mean? Down, down, down. I can't see nothing. But fuck tell you, me niggas. I'm tired of paying a light bill. Oh, we can't give. I'm tired of paying a light bill. No more. I swear to God, cuz. No more Hennessy for you. He kicking yeah. off war on the hey, people. Hey, that's hey, 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 he said he's tired of paying a light bill. <laughs> hey, no. Munchie, me and Munchie B about to protest, nigga, all light companies. <laughs> and we suing the lottery because we can't read our lottery ticket on. Don't hide the crib. He hijacked the show. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, you hey, all good. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm, hey talk your shit. Talk your no. shit. You I love you, Spider. Oh, I love you likewise. You, you, no, you, you already me, know. You taught me, listen, my nigga, I ain't going to even lie to you, Spider. The move you made with 50 Cent shocked, shocked, it shocked the whole, it shocked LA, bro. Mm. It fucked us up. You made a move because, you know, the game shit, that was what it was, right? But the, but, but yeah, East Side, but the, but, but the, 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 you know what I mean? Like you didn't have Jimmy Henchman and all these New York niggas working with you and in conjunction and None thirty that. niggas eating off your pie niggas from no Mansfield no and, Davis yeah K Dog and all this mm -hmm. shit you it, it was you yeah. and I've been knowing you I've been in them talent shows yeah, I've been in in crip environments the, you know what I mean whatever right and the, and to see you made that move and to see you know what I mean. Um, you know, cause fifty recognized the real one from where, from the box, from where I'm from, mm -hmm. South Central. Cause you got a gang of rappers, my nigga. But 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 you know, when niggas say L.A. and I go get too much off topic, when the nigga be said they L.A. rappers, they not L.A. Niggas will say they they are L.A. rapper, and then you listen to their record and it's Compton all over the motherfucker. Mm. L.A. ain't Compton, nigga. We got two different well, mayors, nigga. Well, well, hey, listen, if I Uber to Compton from my hood, nigga, that's 30, can 40 I, can, bucks. Can I give you a lyric, though? Can okay. I give you a lyric of mine? A personal no lyric? No disrespect to Compton. I, I know, yeah, I, but no, I, I got, got a lyric. Double switch blade, yeah, though. Yeah, I got, a lyric, I got a lyric for you. Please, I need it's a, that. It comes in the form of a question. Can I be a Los Angeles Lope and a Compton Crip? I just happened to be something like that. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That Damn, double affiliation. Yeah, I got it. Hey, no, because I just told that? you that. I just told you that I'm an Easty ass West Side that's kid. That's what I'm you saying. Me? Cause I, I'm raised by East Siders. My whole family from Swan. You feel me? That's that's what I was introduced before any Inglewood thing. You know what I'm saying? But I was just raised in Inglewood, like, and I got a lot of. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But okay, no. I, I got a I got a lot of Swan pedigree just, in me. If no, don't brush over. And give us a little more detail of how that plays out. If that's your origination, we obviously you got banging in your bones. How does it go from being a East Side original to a West Side real one? No, I was, I was raised by East Siders, like okay. uncles, honorary uncles, uncles. That's 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 from from Swan. My pops, like I'm everything. I really pretty much learned as far as some street shit. It came mm. from my 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 East Side family. You know what I'm saying? Right. So but, you East Side bred. Yeah, I'm right. a, I, I said I'm an Easty ass West Side nigga. I could dig and, 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 that. I could dig that. I was, I was just raised in Inglewood. That's crazy to hear you say that. That's deep. Go ahead, break no, your no, bread, though. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm, I'm raised in Inglewood, and I shit, I just bang where I'm from, though. But you know, I know who uh, a lot of my traits come from. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why I should be certain on a certain pedigree. I can get it because even the most uh, rest in peace, Rosemo from it's legend, legend. Don't live my bro. Yeah, when he left the uh, Fox Hills Mall, becoming famous. Um, it's my understanding he was in a six pack like moments later with his family, with his home, with his people, the people he really grew up with that raised him. And I'm not surprised to hear that. I can't confirm whether it's 100% true or not, but that's the legend on the east side that his roots came up off the east side, about the six pack, as a matter of fact. It makes sense for it to be, you know, how it goes out. Niggas here. don't understand, bro. Niggas don't understand in LA, bro. Crips and Bloods, most of us is all related, bro. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? I got all my cousins is B-Dogs. All my cousins is from from uh, 
fruit Wait town bread. You keep skipping Black over stuff. the subject, but you say that like you were the opposite of a B dog. And if that's the case, can you please identify your affiliation? Yeah, I'm, a, your, I'm a crip. Your form. Oh, see, say that. Yeah, thing, I'm, I'm a crip, bro. That's Straight not, off the I don't back. think we make that Supervision clear. Supervision 44. Supervision 448 is a crip, my nigga. Okay. My name, my name, my name, Baby Lazy from Sex Jerk Crip okay. neighborhood. Say you know that. what I mean? Say I mean that. that, that and I, I've been from neighborhood. I've been from Sex Jerk um, since I was like 13. I, I got quartered on, and I just been an elevator in them. So a wait a minute. So, so, wait a minute. So, so you, you got you got you got to put on. Hey, yeah, I got put on. He lost and, and with your situation. Yeah, yeah, I got put on with my situation. My that's what I'm saying. My brothers and my homies, they didn't let me. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't raise they didn't up off me. Handicap you? No, not at all. Right? They smashed like you know what I mean. They smashed like they they taught me how to fight. And then my mom just was a super lady where she put me in judo and 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 uh um you know what I mean uh grappling classes and stuff like that. So I was learning shit from the streets and I was learning shit in martial arts. Man, class. fuck all that. You got a bag by your feet yes, right sir. now yes, sir. that contains a fucking cartridge that holds a certain video game and you told me you play it competitively. Yeah, I'm a Madden player, man. How nigga. the fuck, man, I'm, I need to understand. I play Madden for, I'm, I play Madden for, uh, for money. Online or? Wanna, no, a nigga gotta come get with me. Okay. Come sit down next to me. Let me put my elbow in that nigga. All that, page. okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, but what I you were saying, you said, you said up to a certain year, Madden, no, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, because what they did, what they did, big dog, and I appreciate when you ask me questions, Munchie B. Likewise, we here, my nigga. Likewise, mm -hmm. we not. Here's the cold thing. I wanted, uh, uh, I, and I'm gonna answer your question, but I want to set the record straight, bro. Blind is one thing. Mm. Sightless is another. Mm. A nigga that saw before that know what color red is, and he know the difference between mm. red, burgundy, crimson. You know, rusty. You know what I mean, nigga. Mm. Texas color is rust. U USC is crimson. I mean mm. burgundy. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Red is 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 the 49ers, nigga. Mm. I saw that before, so I you I'm not blind. I just can't see this nigga right here. This nigga's not blind. This nigga saw a whole lot of shit. Mm. And ain't nothing new under the sun. Grass is still green, much much you beat. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Hey, money blue now. Hey, money hear me? money hey, blue yeah. now. Only shit changes, man. Hey, 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 money, money blue, money blue right. now, money but blue. money ain't real. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't. Money, think money blue now, blue. but money natural. ain't real. They said red and blue, red, red and green make blue. Then they just switch the shit to they blue. Switch it up. Wow, <laughs> man, That's money deep. ain't real. This shit ain't real, bro. All this shit is all this shit is a is a, is a fake ass facade. I won't that get part. into the political shit, but money ain't we real. We just spending dead. We, we just spending dead honeys. tender notes. We, 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 we need some, is, we need oh, some red honey. That's why they what? call this shit tender because it's punk. When what? the last time you saw something tender? Salt. <laughs> That's punk. You feel me? These tender notes, <laughs> man. This shit ain't worth shit, man. Is that why the such thing as the BRICS currency? It seems like it's bullying. It's, it's bullying. It's bullying the notes. dollar. It's tenderizing okay. that motherfucker. <laughs> You know that I mean, look, man, I got a dispensary and eighty percent of my eighty percent of my transactions is is digital, bro. So right. you know what I mean? All this shit is all I mean, uh, you money. You say you have a dispensary. Do you yeah. mean you're the owner of an establishment I'm the owner. that can legally? Yeah, I'm the owner marijuana. of a dispensary, and I've been doing this shit since '07. I've had 19 shops that I've owned and operated. I've had partners, but uh, you know, uh, about about five of them has just been solo me. And if I do have a partner, I'm letting niggas eat. I see here. You already said there you said go. like like when 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 losing a sight did it enhance other uh, senses and all mm -hmm. that shit. Mm -hmm. it, it, I'm so stubborn and like like you said, he had people to push him. Like they ain't gonna let him sit back and just be helpless. Mm -hmm. I, I I didn't. I, I was just, I'm just too stubborn. Period. Though I didn't really have nobody really like pushing me like to hurry up and get right. back. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm just stubborn in the motherfucking. And that's what that's what enhanced though. You know what I mean? So can I, both of you. Uh, and I, I asked you this off, off camera, and I don't remember why I don't have an answer. I don't know if y'all refuse to answer. If y'all refuse to answer, that's cool. But I want to know how y'all capable of texting me in real time, even when y'all say y'all by yourself. Oh yeah, that's my secret weapon, oh, man. Shit, like, and, and, shit, and, and, and we and, we uh, like fuck, we like fuck niggas on that. Like we ain't yeah, like, like we ain't telling we ain't telling our sightless secrets. Nigga. I, 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 you know I, what I mean? If you think I got somebody around me around the clock texting it. DM and nah, all that shit. Hey, Munchie. Crazy. Hey, Munchie. Look, straight up. Niggas used to yet. ask me. You feel me? Excuse me, Munchie. Hey, Munchie. Yeah, niggas used to ask me how, 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 you know, how a nigga be so fresh all the time. Like I had a fucking midget, that uh, a stylist midget or something that uh -huh. just lived with me. And it's like, no, nigga, I know clothes. You yeah. know what I mean? 
I, 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 you know what I mean? But at the same time, I want to, I want to shout out my, my, my lifetime friend, best friend and stylist, uh, Hustle Mark. You know what I mean? Welcome to LA. That's my nigga. He's always geared me up. But oh, so this, you do got a stylist. Well, yeah, I've always you, had a stylist, but, but 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 no, I ain't gonna tell on myself. I'm telling the real, my yeah, nigga. But you ain't, he, he, he ain't with but, me 24 but, hours but a day. Just saying, like how many? But you in the industry though. So. Yeah, I'm in the industry. But here's the thing. He's a street nigga. That's my oh, nigga man. from Broadway, right? Oh, okay. He's okay. a street nigga. What I did was when I got my deal, bro, I employed street niggas, bro. So so he just was already in the clothes and selling clothes out the out the truck and blah blah blah. I said, nigga, come fuck with me and do these big time photo shoots. So you for just me. trust him, you was fly. You didn't really know. No, I was already fly. You trust I, I was I'm already fly. You trust I, him, your gear was fly. Well, I was already fly, my but nigga. I'm from Sex Jerk. I was already fly. Hey, hey, ask hey, a nah. bitch. I was already so, fly. It was some real so, shit. So it was some real shit. I'm just saying. I'm, if we got to ask the bitch, the bitch don't. No, ask any bitch, nigga. No, but no, no, but, no, if we got to. I'm right. DM you right now. No, no. Ask him was Vision no, Fly. No, no, wait. Time out, time out, time out. All right, because I was going to have no, niggas time inboxes. out, time out. So you telling me your truth is based on what the bitch said? Because right, they're they, they saying Hoochie Daddy Shorts is, is exactly. fly. The, the, the name just throw me off. You know, that's a weird bitch. That's a weird bitch. Hold on. The bitch talking I'm about right my, my dick hanged to my knee. The no. Nigga, how the fuck right. I'm going to wear Hoochie right. Mama right. shorts? I don't, I don't, that's nigga, none of my business. I'm telling you. By your knees and your shorts. No, no, no. No homo. All I'm saying is the bitches right now saying. fuck I'm going to wear Gucci shorts? No, what I'm saying is the bitches saying you ain't a real nigga unless they can push your legs up behind your ears. Huh? What bitches are saying that? I ain't never heard that. The bitches. No, what bitches? The same ones you told me to ask. Man, that's them bitches that's 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 on some right. dope and dick. They that's why I, they, they on dope and dick. But this nigga. is why I chose to ask you as a man. Fuck what them bitches talking about. Nah. That's I've change. already had a I've all, always had a, a a fine sense of fashion. Like I said, I, I you know what I mean before I lost my sight, you know, I got older brothers. Them niggas was always fly. You know, I come from New Orleans. New Orleans is the grimiest city in America, but it's always been the flyest city. Hey man, in regards hey, to hey, 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 you said two things that was inaccurate, bro. Go ahead, but you yeah. said you said <laughs> New Orleans always been the flyest one. No, I said we yeah. always been grimy, but we fly for sure. Is you said is, but are you are you a switchy? You always no, been, no, go ahead. Okay, okay. Then, ah, ah. then you said the New Orleans Saints got one of the they got the best offense. Offense, the most potent fun. offense, That's nigga. He said right Michael now. Thomas. Uh, you, you you wrong, brother. Kristen Olave. Who's the quarterback? Party two seasons ago. Derek Carr. Come on, man. You know, man. Derek Carr is man, the you, most. Hey, next look, to Russell bro. Wilson. Hey, look, bro. Derek Carr is the most hey, disappointing look. quarterback in the hey, NFL. Hey, 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 no, not currently, bro. Next to Russell not Wilson. Not this year. No, not this year. This Maybe song, what, previous years, but record? not this year. What's the record for the same? I mean, wh whatever our record is, we, we we up and down. But we was like that before. Last hey, year when hey. Breeze was there, we was like that. Hey, the Saints, the Saints record is worse than my criminal record for sure. <laughs> hey, 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 my nigga, you got a hell of a criminal record, but I, I don't know, my nigga. Green Bay is garbage. Are you a back? Green Bay fan? Why you yeah. keep jumping on? What is this? You a Green division? Bay fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you a, a Green Bay fan, oh, and they garbage, I'm my a, nigga. No, no, no. We be, we'll be back, though. Next season, we'll be back. All right. I'm just saying, but you got we to, ain't done yet. You you know, ain't, did, we ain't done yet. Did you dress but, yourself today? Yeah, of course. So you are you aware of what your shirt says? Rams. I'm an LA nigga. And you talking on that Saint? Oh, Saint. I'm an LA nigga. I, I and, and listen, I'm an LA nigga, so I, I, I wear anything LA. I fuck with uh, Rams, Chargers. Uh, Ram, uh, Dodgers uh, and LA, Clippers, Lakers, Lakers Dodgers. Dodgers. I fuck Angel. with any Angels, uh, Kings. I fuck with any motherfucking LA team. You know what I mean? Even the soccer nigga. I even I even rock the uh, the LA football club soccer I shit. I don't give a fuck I about that. Black, that shit. black and gold. That I shit. I even nothing about that. Me shit. either. Yeah, my my mama's soccer hey. is at the very bottom of my list hey, of interests. Hey, I, 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 I don't understand. I don't understand how people gather for so many people gather for such a long ass game where you only might score one point i don't know where like the where's the slam dunk where's the interception i don't see the sack of the quarterback i don't see the big hit like what i don't the understand shit? the game i don't get it i played I, it too through school coming up i've been a four i didn't understand that even then like, i don't I just, get the draw i don't get the excitement and I don't want to fight if a nigga kick me in the ankle. In the shin, you know, no. You know what I mean? The ankle shin, shit. Yeah. The shin is it. I'll fuck a nigga up behind some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, you get some cleats in your so, shin. And even when I could see, the game looks stupid as fuck. And no disrespect to soccer players and, and, and all that. But it just, it, it, I didn't understand it then. You feel me? Uh, I had a clear understanding, you know, of football, basketball, baseball, um, hockey. 
even even uh like you know what I mean like the little weird white sports like uh lacrosse I had a better understanding for that shit but soccer it just was like a bunch of motherfuckers and, kicking and the ball and you're telling me you're relying on memory since you were 6 to gather your knowledge of the majorities well, well it's yeah. like since i was 9 remember nah, but still boy? yeah cuz he, he got out here when he was 6 I, and okay. i lost my first eye at 6 and then it took another like Do you two think three it years. was the lack of development in technology and science that maybe that you became victim of when they were trying to rectify or fix situations it was just it was just you know what i mean just just crazy timing and coincidence. You know, I I was the first motherfucking kid to ever uh, take prednisone steroids. I was on prednisone steroids at seven. Explain what that means. I've never heard of that term. Prednisone is a, a version of steroids, and um and w when when they, when they were trying to save my eye, you know, they were trying to strengthen my body, mm. so they used steroids to do it. Prednisone, and I was the first kid that the uh, federal government had uh. Mm. Okay, uh, you know, because it was a, a traumatic situation and it was an emergency. They only had so much time. Uh, so I was on prednisone steroids and, uh, and another drug that had just came out um, in 1984. It was called cyclosporin, and I was the first kid to ever take that. So I was a real guinea pig, mm. you know what I'm saying? And it was supposed to potentially help your actual vision. Yeah, it was. Before we got on camera, yes, correct? Yes. Before we got on camera, we sat down. We was having a casual. You experience. sound like Maury Povich. I'm trying to, man. He get the big old <laughs> checks, man. Maury, somebody. What's the black nigga with the bald head? The old nigga. Oh, Montel. Montel. Yeah. Maury, Montel, yeah. somebody. Yeah. Hey, you know what I like? Blah, 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 blah. You know what I like about you, Spider? You describe a nigga when you talk to me. You don't look at me. You ain't never mm. looked at me as a nigga that can't see. You an axe a blind nigga. Hey, what's the black nigga with because, the bald head? You know and, I go, and I'm going to say Montel on, on rhythm. I didn't catch that. You did catch it on rhythm, but I didn't even uh, notice that. Uh, I love you, too, because you don't present your yourself with a nigga that's lacking nothing. Yeah. Just like this nigga. No, nah, that nigga's a fly nigga. I'll be trying to figure out how he do so much, but I want to ask both of y'all something that just, you just fucked me up and it threw my, uh, my uh, fucking thought process off. Munchie B, ask this nigga something real quick for me, man. I want to know your process when you recording. Mm. My process in recording, because like, right like recording. They, 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 these days everybody punching in. That's just the new thing. Yeah. Everybody they just throw the paddle where they punching in, but what, what you do, what you, you be, yeah, yeah. I, what's your process? I used to do all that shit. I, I I used to try to one take that shit, but that shit is bullshit. <laughs> so about, about, about one take, I'm about said, money. Just, just freestyle it through. That's uh, what you said. I, I used to freestyle it. We come from that time. Frame. I used to freestyle it. I used to write it and then try to one take what I write and all that. But um, you know, I was stubborn, just like you say you were stubborn. From a, from like the blind standpoint, or from the learning how to overcome like blindness or master mm -hmm. it, so to speak, right? So you were stubborn, stumbling through that. Mm -hmm. I was stubborn from the music standpoint because I was because right after I lost my sight, right after I lost my sight, I really like got into so much shit, and music was one of them. So you know, I was out here at 11, 12, you know, years old, you know, um, bistro. Uh, uh, shout out to Big Bistro from Brims. Mm. He, he, Big Bistro took me under his wing, and he was uh, my first manager. Right, man. And he got me signed to Cool G Rap, and you know, so I was I was a little blind. Well, you were signed to Cool G Rap. Yeah, I was signed to Cool G hey, Rap. You had a lot of 12. situations. I was signed That's to Ice good. T when I was fourteen. Um, I was signed to Tone Loke when I was sixteen. So but, you think that you benefited from somewhat of a sympathetic? Um, nah, I was just the dopest nigga out here. I was killing niggas. I was murdering. Nobody let me hear, could stand Let me, let me hear something right now. Give me a verse. Let me give me to hear something of what you would think that set you apart. Uh, give me, give me a verse. Now thing. shit, or yeah, give, just give me something that kill crooked eye shit. What that? What you got? Oh shit. Um, let me see. No, you not. Say, no, let me see. to get the dough, so you know I'm about to get it in. Playoff type of nigga making plays because we gotta win. Keep a bad bitch, can't see her, but she bought a ten. Once she see me with her on my arm, all he do is grin. Rolly on my wrist, perpetual, all he do is spin. Got a legal cannabis trap, you could come and spin. Even got international clients flying in. Had some Japanese buyers trying to cop, told them running in. Got a Mac 90 for the ops, think they running in. Once the dog bark, alarm sound, I get the gun and thin. And I keep gunning until I empty the stick. My bitch wanna fuck me all night, she say empty the dick. Keep making music till the nigga make a hit. Once I do hit, make your bitches want the dick. 
of the blind Don SJ, but no Sean John watch. Don't tick, but I do. I'm like a time bomb. <laughs> Supervision facts over feelings live in the building. He didn't stutter, skip, or none of that. Sure. That was clean, my nigga. That was dope. Oh, my, I put my, the 448 on my name, bro, because I, once I got into the cannabis the industry pound. and I started selling the bags, you know what I mean? Niggas would always hit my line, man. You got a 448. So niggas started calling me Supervision 448. So it's it just it's just a part, part of the title. Before we got cracking here, the homie asked you, so how long has it been since you lost your vision? I said, I said, hey, bro. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I said, how did you, how did you lose your vision? And you said what? I said, See? I didn't lose my vision, my nigga. I just <laughs> lost my sight. Nah, you didn't say it like that. Yeah, it was different. Yeah, I knew no, was... no, 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 I, no. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't lose my vision. Now, I, I, no, I, I got my vision. I, well, I you lost said, my ain't nothing sight. wrong with my vision. He said something like, ain't nothing wrong with my vision. So I was confused. I'm like, damn, nigga, I thought the nigga was coming to interview. It was a moment we wanted to recreate. We, like, I knew what was going to happen. Uh, it's April Fool's or something, Because he threw me off, too. It was, I'm like, damn, why the fuck? I'm like, okay. Nigga, he hey, the like, cold thing he about it. Motherfucking vision, What's the difference nigga? between vision and sight? Well, the vision, my nigga, vision is you can see, you can see tomorrow. You can see next week. You can see next month, nigga. You can see, you can see another nigga's future. That's vision. Hey, look, my nigga, what I see for you is this, right? Mm. And the shit actually be true. You know what I mean? Mm. You know, it's like vision is. You know, I could, I could, I could have somebody spin me around. You know what I mean? Spin me around the community, wherever, right? I'm looking for a, a shop that could be telling me vacancies, vacancies. You know what I mean? And 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 they'll tell me, oh yeah, this one V, this one uh, is a standalone building, and it's got its own parking. There's only like three, four spaces, and it's next to a mechanic shop. I'm thinking, all right, that's a good look. My vision tells me that's a good look. I need a noisy neighbor, cause I'm about to pump a lot of dope out this motherfucker, a lot of weed. I'm a, you know what I mean? I need, I, and it's gonna spank, it's gonna stink. I need a noisy neighbor with some carcinogens burning and oils and engines and. So I, in my mind, I'm thinking that's the perfect spot. So my vision tells me that's the perfect spot. Now, if I can see, it's like, ah, oh, man, there's a bum nigga standing in front, a uh, uh, bag lady, motherfucking mm. Mexican selling tamales so across the street. So your fucking sight can get in the way uh, of your all vision. All the time. All ooh. the time. All the time. Yeah, that's a gem. Ooh. Sometimes it can. Ooh. All the time. No, it, it always gets in the way. So it can look. I tell a nigga who can see, hey, look, my nigga, mm. get the fuck out the way and let me get to the money. Uh, you feel me? Mm. I want to touch it. You know what I mean? Listen, my nigga. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. I would kill myself if I was a bank teller. You know why? Because I'm going to look at money all day. That ain't mine. Mm. Even though money ain't shit, but they going to put me, they going to put a fucking, uh, 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 how you, uh, day. How you babysitting some, somebody else's money? Somebody else's money. And I got to count it out to niggas all day. And knowing we going to pay you less than, and knowing we going to pay you minimum to do this. Come yeah. on, my nigga. Over that, us. Right. This is garbage. Oh. This is garbage. So the bottom line is I want to touch the money, my nigga. Every nigga I know that can see that, you know what I mean? They ain't, a lot of me, them don't it's not touch you saying it. sight causes you to settle for something you see. I think it, you I think really it, I think it, I think it, it has limited, oh, you know, so a lot of men crazy, around bro. me. It has limited a lot of men around me, and I've gotten ahead of them because I don't uh, have no breaks. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I don't see that yeah, wall, bro. Can you relate with that? He's fucking me up with that thought right now. No, 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 no. You feel me much? I don't see that wall in front of me, bro, bro. I honestly think. Me, me, during uh, this incident caused me to be divorced, bro. Cause, mm. cause, cause, cause I was getting my footing right, seeing how much. And then when I got got, got back comfortable, mm -hmm. I was I was fucking everything. Mm. And, and I'm Smashing like, shit. My baby, I'm like, damn, this nigga, he still <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And, and I never got caught before I got shot, but at, now, cause I ain't driving doing it myself, mm. and I didn't I didn't think I was gonna get back to normal, normal. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm still knocking shit down, so now I'm doing I'm I'm going overboard. Mm. Like, I'm, I'm overdoing it now, like. I'm, I'm I'm over. I got a vasectomy. Bitches lying, talking about they pregnant, all kind of shit. Like <laughs> I went through the process. I call that the race syndrome. Where, you know what I mean? You got a vasectomy too? Nah, hell no, 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 no. No, he yeah, just said, he said like you, you feeling like you. How you many might, kids you got? Man? You might be missing out on something, so you overdoing it. Yeah, you start yeah, smacking you every fucking thing. Definitely. And and got, the whole thing about got, it is, I got I, two daughters though. Two daughters. Oh God. Hey, much. The whole thing about it at one point, and this might be crazy. At one point, I felt like 
it was my duty to 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 knock off a gang of beautiful, like yeah. drop dead, beautiful, gorgeous, sighted bitches, knock their ass. To prove that, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 because I, I want them, I want them to know that blind dick is the best dick. And and and, and I mean, and don't everybody, underestimate hey, most blind common, The most oh common thing to do when you make love is close your eyes. Hey, so if niggas try to get like a some blind niggas nigga. lie and say they don't close their no, eyes. Every, I'm like, I, when you kiss, you try to niggas close. is bitches. It's niggas, natural. Man. You close your eyes, so that's getting in that zone right. anyway. Go ahead, much. I lost my thought, but but but, but <laughs> my bad. But, 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 no 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 no, I saw good, but no no no, I'm I'm listening. No, nah, nah, but I, I, when you say that, I can't knock the concept because the most common thing is when you go into that is to close your eye. We might peek because you know you know what might you know what fucks you up when you look when you see the pleasure on her face. Right, you you come faster. So nah, me, it's it's that it's that, it's that moaning about my ear shit. Right. No, that that too. I think it, I think it's the look. If you would have seen her holding her own ankles and her toes was curled up and right. that look on her face with that sound, but you feeling all that, you feeling them but, toes. But it's the but okay. But when you take, I'm telling you, the visual is the ice on the cake. That could probably give y'all another thirty minutes. The sight, 15. the sight the is sight. the icing. Because when you see, I can see you, you this see bitch heart. Feeling, Nigga, my when vision. You, when you see what you feeling and you see what you hearing, it's like, oh, there. Yeah. But. It's like me seeing it when I'm. But then that minimizes the feeling. That makes you no, say the niggas I, come but quick. No, but look, just think. I'm in a bitch think, for days. But just say I'm seeing what y'all seeing. But just the, the hearing you just described. Just think I can't hear that. I got another element of not being all the way engaged. I don't Let me know, ask but you this: But are you feeling? Thing. Can you feel? And and uh, me personally, I'll be trying to like dig a new oil well. I'm like digging. Oh, you know no, what I mean? Man. I'm trying to see. Like, can my dick head like? That's wh- not my business. You going I'm too just, deep? No, I'm just. We going like, too deep? No, I'm saying you. you no, nah, but you want to talk this side of shit and like ah, look at her munch and squeeze in her face. I'm like, no, no I'm just, digging. I'm I, fucking I, 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 digging. I, 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 I don't recall, and her nails I don't, are going to my closing my eyes. Fucking, fucking, fucking a bitch though. Never, never. Nigga, you, you, I don't close my eyes now. Naturally, Why? naturally, you close your eyes when you kiss. But like, I, I'm gonna, I'm, I eat the pussy. I'm, my eyes ain't closed, nigga. I, I, I'm I fucking. Know, I, if you're trying to, I want to. I, I want to see the little dark water waves. It's like, yeah, when you but fuck but you, I'm, I've been aware for long that all that is gonna uh, hurry the end of this. Man, so. hey, bro, you need some stamina exercise. You gotta have one of them bitches ain't work on you. Bitch. I, I, I think I, you need to stop I, I, looking I, I, and start I, I, cooking, I, I, nigga. I'm talking about. Don't even look at the bitch. I spot her. Why don't you blindfold spotter. her and blindfold I you? Spotter, spotter. You feel me and have some real sex. I've been making babies since pre pre algebra, bro. So, nigga, like, how old is your oldest child? Seventeen. Uh, I got yeah. a grandbaby. Yeah, my daughter, my daughter, about, my other daughter, about to be eight next. I'm just saying. I got, got a twenty-one-year-old, eleven-year-old, and a five-month-old. I got six birth children. Three generations. I got ten children total, and I got a grandbaby. Damn. We gonna do that? We can do that all day, y'all. You got ten children? If if I count the children that are mine, because when I met their mother, they had a child. I have ten children. Nah, cause we're not doing that. You can't count the yeah, you can't they, count they, another they, nigga's baby. No, nah, nah, no, if they, 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 if they call me daddy, one of them well, is from his yeah. Well, if they call you daddy, then yeah. that that's what it is. But yeah. biologically, how many kids you got? I got six children okay. that was no, born. That's beautiful. To, I got it's six, a blessing. I, let me explain. Please let me ask you a question. I got six children that were born to my loins and also a grandchild. So okay, yeah, that's a blessing. Yeah, bro. It's a beautiful a blessing. blessing. Hey, hey, supervision. I'll be going up. Well, I started at some point. I ain't been back since COVID, but I, I was going up to the schools, hollering at the uh, kids about what the gang shit. Fuck! I was just finna ask y'all. Have either of y'all had the opportunity to speak? Oh, you didn't see my interview. You didn't see my interview when, when, when I burned it up on 2 I didn't see your interview. When, when, when I went up to on Slosh and the Crenshaw to go do my one-two with the kids, and nigga was like, he got 60 seconds to get out to school. An employee from 60 there. You know what I'm saying? Did you leave? Slowly. They asked me to leave. But I respect Bear, you Bear, so Bear, Bear, like Bear from East Coast was there. You feel Shout me? out Bear, 89th yeah. Street. You know, I had Ash Bash with me. Ash Bash was like, oh, Salam. Like, I'm like, I didn't feel threatened. You know what that speaks toward? What? Fuck trying to act like you here, trying to be peace victim and all that. It speaks to the reputation of what you established as a nigga out here. So, uh, well, shit. Yeah, 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 I was trying to do a, a good cold, deed. But, but, still, but, but you know, but, but, but. When, I, they don't, I, when they don't accept your good deed. Yes, sir. That means your demon check cash real thoroughly alone at some point, bro. So when your good deeds ain't no good, that means you, you really got that demon 
reputation. Hey, but see, like I said, I ain't PTSD up, right? No, nah, nah, this the, nigga's the, a the, god. The, 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 the nigga let me and her in the gate to park. So if we in there, you got to let us back out. You could have just waited. It, let me do my one two and had to set up and do your due diligence. I got help. So, I, so I was comfortable. I'm like, oh, he's a bitch. Like he, he not like that. Cause let me people, wake you up. Cause that could have been. Who was that? That could have been the, the I, rock to sleep. I don't know why. Was that Munchie? I don't know why everybody sleep on the name. rock to sleep play. I, I ain't gonna say his name. I end up finding out his name later because I interviewed his cousin. Don't do that. You feel me? Don't do that. Yeah, I interviewed his cousin. But that, I, but, but, I hate but, that weird shit. But it's not. But look, wait. But it's not always. I'm not mad at Thank you. And then it's two two thousand twenty three game banging right. and it's life just think about this phrase rock to sleep don't give every wink or smile the credit of being a valid wink or smile man just Bro, remember I that i want all of us to remember that. that i respect that just because somebody walked you in a place don't mean they have intention to send you getting out of there safely i'm right. telling you no 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 but, but 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 can i say this in 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 addition to that i would say I would say starve your fears and feed your feed your faith. Hey, bro, is you finna just be a, I, hit I, us with a gang cliches? Or you, what, I, what what sense do that make? I don't, that one didn't hit me like the last. What you one. Mean? Yeah, what did that mean? Did that mean starve your fear and feed your faith? I, yes, I was saying that because it's like what are you gonna have faith in? You got faith in. Uh, I hope you would have faith in something bigger oh, than oh, yourself. Oh, 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 oh that's that's the, that, that equates. That's equivalent to like uh, what did it say? Walk, 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 to him. walk, walk by walk, walk by, by faith and not by sight. You know right. what I'm saying? That that's that seemed like oh. these niggas don't these niggas don't throw. apply that though. Hey, but see, I don't, I'm, 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 mm. that's what I'm saying. Like, these fear, don't, fear don't live that, here, though. bro. So I don't, I don't be exactly. I'll be I'll be I'll be tripping off that shit. But I said I will be going up to these schools doing that shit because you know niggas glamorize gang banging so much, but they don't tell the other side of it. And I got domed and lost my shit. You feel me? So like, ain't nothing fly about that though. But if you push that in their face more so, rather than like the shit I seen that appealed me, like. The homies that nigga so dope had the bitches to respect, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Low right. lows and all that little shit. You, it, it be different. Like you think you like, you said the mixed message when, when I was a child, when I was going to church in Compton. The Compton Police Department used to pull up and they tried to do scare straight uh, programs and show us like graphic pictures of people dead in the Compton streets and all this type of shit. But it used to attract me. Do you think? Having the posture of a G still, but giving the message of stay away from this shit, do you think it's a mixed message to where even with the people seeing you went through the worst, do you think it's still some kids that look at you and attracted to the lifestyle based on you still carry yourself a certain way? I'm telling you, verbally on my mouth, and, I, and you can look at a dress code or, or whatever rap song on the set, because I rap that shit because it's realism and that's what I know, but I'm telling you that I got donged due to some gang shit and this what could happen. You but know what I'm saying? Still, like so, so, you so. You still flamed up, you still with your homies, you still representing like, you told me you never even went through no depression. So do you ever think in your mind that might be a message to a young nigga like that, excuse me, even through all that, I'm with this stump down sturdy. Facts of a fitness are where you at, just want you to remind you that. No, 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 no. Way, way I feel, <laughs> you would rather hear from somebody that, that that's, that's not a buster, you know, I ain't saying this shit because I'm scared or facing no time. I'm telling you from a a a a, a, a place a, a realism, you know what I'm saying? Right. So versus you hearing it from your mama, she's supposed to tell you that. Or mm -hmm. or your PO or your uncle or some shit. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know I ain't no buster. I I didn't get scared straight or anything. Right. I, I'm just telling you like kick back. You know what I mean? Where they come, unless you're ready, ready for this. Because shit, nigga. It's you, not worth it. You feel like it's not worth it? California, you gonna shoot at somebody, completely miss them and get a gang of time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or you you like, and then these niggas like uh, go to jail and tell all the good stories about how many niggas they squabbled, but you you might have seen they put on, you know he can't fight for shit, so he lying. Mm. And, and nigga, you ain't got no bread on, on the streets or no bitches, so who take care of you in there? But they ain't saying that side of shit. Right. So I just tell, I just try to like point out like the other side of it though, cause you know what I mean? Cause every, I got shot on six different occasions. Everybody ain't gonna be as lucky though. Wait, wait, wait. So on six you different occasions, shot. you were struck with six gunfire. Six different occasions? After I, after, I, after I lost my sight, I got shot again. I got shot in the finger. But like, like, I got how, shot. How does somebody in your position learn who to trust? When you moving around, because you are not just ducking all, you out nobody, here. Bro. I don't no, trust you. No, he, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you guys are telling me. I trust my mama in the Bells Bond. So if you guys don't rely on trust, lacking one of the most important senses that we all rely upon, what do you replace that trust with? Cause I would assume you guys have more trust, because I know we all trust one another because of this. 
we trust the rest of the people to stop at the red light. And we go through green lights without thinking. So we trust one another. We get on airplanes without thinking twice about the pilot. We get on buses without thinking about the driver. We trust one another. We go into the intersection as pedestrians, and we don't feel fearful. I, 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 bro, I trust. I trust. I, I tr you tr you missed the point. Look, 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 look. You, you don't get caught up in cliches of not trusting. I, I, I trust, trust each other. Trust, we trust, do trust each other. I say that's some bullshit. Someone, someone, someone drove you here. I, I trust my nah, intuition, were you fearful? bro. Were you fearful? I, I trust my intuition. Fearful of your of your of your arriving. I, I starve my fear and feed my faith. So I got you, faith in my so nigga. So guess what? Faith and trust are almost synonymous. Go ahead. I got faith. No, bro, you can't worse than that. Different things. Hey, Spider, I trust. Go ahead, Munchie. I trust my intuition, bro. That's what I trust. So you believe? Do you believe trust, trust and faith are different? Trust, trust and faith. Yeah, you, you think that you have faith, faith and you trust, different. right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely, faith. they would be called the same thing if they wasn't. Faith, no, brother. Faith, faith and trust, trust is different. How? Because tr I, I trust myself. Well, trust ain't so really faith in yourself. For, no faith, faith. You, 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 you just you, you, uh, hoping. you don't, you don't know if it come through. You just it's hoping hope. it manifests. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You, Can believe, I say you, you really believe in. You trust you believe it's gonna happen. I, tr well, I trust myself. Well, faith, faith. You know, I don't, I don't. I'm not a religious man, but faith is uh, a word used throughout all the uh, all the uh, the good books. The man you know written, I mean? the man written books. The man written books. Yeah, the man. The written Quran, books. the Bible. That, that, that were but, written. That were written by men. They were written by men, but ain't none of them say trust in it. I, trust didn't come along for about fifteen hundred years when when the, when the J came ex, when they had to I, you I, know I, create a J in the alphabet. It, 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 you go, yeah, I go off experience and your intuition, bro. Hey, cause cause I think I I became a good judge of character. Cause you know, being a jailbird at one point in the unit dorm with 150 people dealing with all these different personalities, and you're like I, I, I pick up on people. If you talk too much, I, I, I got you figured out. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you been incarcerated since you lost your sight? Yeah, yeah. I, I, so I'm paying two bills right now. I went to jail leaving Marco shit. In Burbank? Man, remember I told My you? My last man, case. Call, man. call Marcos mm. and tell him to scrap that bitch interview that I, I allowed him to do after I did that. The female I sent you her music. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all ain't, you lying. That's how up and down shit be, man. Shout out to C Mac and Tanee. I seen they back reunited on the love affair. I think that's the best look C Mac done had in a long time. Man, he might as well stick with that shit. Stick with that, man. I, I think y'all, y'all, and y'all highlight blessing. each other. I, 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 love is always a good I, 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 Love between men and women is always a yeah. blessing. Whenever you see that shit, clap, because that I, shit is I, becoming I, I, real. Hey, Crim Mac, and that was very corny to say, you in jail, nigga. I got your bitch. Man, we don't we don't we don't applaud no nigga being in jail, bro. Are you familiar who he's referring to? Uh, he know right, Crimac. SBA, that's what he's talking about. Was, I've, no, I don't know who he's talking about, but we don't talk about niggas going to jail. We don't applaud that shit. You know no, what I mean? We don't, especially don't. nigga. He out on bail. You talk, you I be on Reggie. Here. I be red. I'm Reggie Wright. I've been to jail eighteen all the time times. About nigga. that. Oh my mama, mama. Me and Reggie, we cool on a whole lot of concepts, but he gets so comfortable celebrating incarceration. I be yeah, like, that's oh, not Reggie, cool. Don't do that. Really. That ain't cool. Sometimes that's the cop in the nigga. No, you that's definitely. Mean? I told him. Sometimes that's. The and it's the only reason he gets some of the past because the everybody aware of his history, and I know right. it's just any. Right. But he didn't cross over to the other side of life, so of it's course. like a yeah. But it's, it's still like, gonna be in him. That that yeah. that, that 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 bacon always gonna burn in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, 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 be in that crib, Mac. Your history, brother. Let him know, hey, bro, that ain't that ain't hood. That, no, you, know, you said you it. No, look, no, don't put no extras on it, Munchie. You, you already, we already did it. You said it, and then I already co-signed it. All right, don't put no extras on it, cause one of the people that crib Mac do listen to is me. But if you extra any nigga out with that much attention, I like crib Mac. You're gonna get an adverse entertaining person. I think he's a very entertaining guy. Guys, shout out to Crip Mac. I, no, I, shout, I love shout, shout out to the out. homie, man. Yeah, shout I, out to I like the Mac interview too. with him. Cause shout out to Robin yeah. Petgrave. Check out my episode of Mac Adventures where we're going to do some helicopter flying. I'm still... Um, Can I speak on that too, uh, Spider? What would you like to speak on? Um, nah, the reason, the whole thing about the... Uh, Speaking whatever you, grave and, and oh, you know Rob. Yeah, oh, yeah. My son, shit. my son is. Oh, actually, you already said that. Yeah, my son is in flight school. We didn't say it on camera, but oh, my yeah, son right. is in at the Compton uh, Flight Club. Um, uh, he's uh, enrolled uh, and been enrolled the last three years at the Compton. Yeah, flight please Club. speak on because I've been a friend and, uh, of Robin's for over twenty is, years. Yeah, my son is on his fifty-six flight. He's uh, wow, how old is he? Fly planes. He's eleven. He started when he was uh, nine. Shout out him. That's, that's shout that's, out Junior. Yeah, yeah, that nigga's coming. He he coming and he wants to be an aviator. The other day, the other day, my uh, uh, my we was uh, doing some athletic shit and uh, one of my uh, athletic niggas asked him, uh, 
um, so you, you, you gonna be an athlete? He said, nah, I'm gonna be an aviator. Mm. And that, that was just some new shit that, that fucked me up because I don't hear black kids saying- That just seems like a black empowerment commercial, just that. Asking a little kid. I told you, I told you there ain't many black pilots, and I was happy to hear that you said that. That's, That's awesome. Dope. So getting to my point, I'm a filmmaker. I just made one film. My next film I'm making is uh, about the uh, the black pilots teaching these black kids how to fly mm. planes. So is Robin collaborating with you on that, or is any inspiration nah. from being over there? Yeah, or? Rob. Uh, I'm gonna interview Robin uh, for for the uh, for the doc. But um, the school is ran by his students. The school is ran by people that he taught 20 years ago. When we that's flying planes for Alaska. Oh, and, and, and these are my these are my proteges. So when we say Robin, please be aware and diligent to go look up Robin Petgrave. Pet Straight tomorrow's up. Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum. Museum. And he at one point was um uh, Credited for having the very youngest solo flight across country. Absolutely, um, of black a legend. Pilot. Yes, he's a very aviation yeah, prominent black pilot. We're proud he's of. Got Robert a lot Pat of Ray. people coming up behind him. A lot of, you know, what I mean, they they doing their thing over in Compton. If you ever want to give some money to somebody, you want to give it to the Compton Flight Club. Dr. Because Dre has just donated um, in excess of a million dollars toward this program when he found out that Robin was over there in Compton doing yeah. such. Hey, shout out Drake, bro. He do a lot for cops. He get back well, to the city for real. But, for real, but for real. Robin, Robin Petgrave and Compton Flight Club, they they like his, you know, Robin they got older, right? He's yes. a princess. So, yeah, so so now the younger dudes is coming, you know, the, the younger pilots that's, you know, 30, 40, you know, 45, they come in and now they run the school. Right. Right. So shout out to uh Captain Ron and Captain Alex and and uh I um uh, um, I forgot the administrator name. I, I, I wonder because a uh, uh, shout out to uh, Miss Carla, uh, all the uh, Compton Flight Club. That's that's the the uh, people that's the, the instructors that's teaching. I, you know, I, I, I want I wonder how familiar I may be with either of those names because I can recall back in the early two thousands, I was a part of a um, Christmas um, fundraiser or a Christmas right. drive we did to benefit. The children of Compton that were participating that in Robin's program, right? And um, since then, my experience just being a Compton native and being a local, I've I've, I've encountered a couple of young men throughout the city to be like, "What up, Spider? Right? I was in that program. Right? I was nine. I was ten. But now they're like full beard, full beard. Yeah, they're, they're, young, they're young men. So they're I, young men. I wonder how many of them may be involved in the program that you're you're, yeah, you're discussing. Yeah, because. And and, it's, and the shit is so cold because I'll go one week or I'll go uh, one semester, and and you'll you'll see like the the because my son is in he's in the eight to I think he's in the eight to twelve class right, mm -hmm. and and but his other classes are the older kids the fourteen to eighteen right mm -hmm. so you'll see see them you know going about their day because uh, they class will be before our class. Or after it or whatever, right. so you'll see them around, and uh, and then the next minute they're they're uh, the training pilots. Mm. But for you know what I mean, like they grow, they get their pilot's license, and then they turn around and give them because they gotta they gotta um, get their hours in so they can get their commercial so, license after they get their pipe. So what your, what, what your baby mama feel? She be nervous about them uh, doing the flights and all that little shit. Nah, she uh, she she she's uh, she down, she down, she down like a. Was it something you started or she started? Nah, it's some, it's some, uh, it's some. Uh, I was referred by my man Big Jack. Shout out to Big Jack, Big Jackson Hilton, man. He from Compton. He's a Compton, a real Shout Compton out Big G. Jack. West Side Jack. Um, so Big Jack uh was doing uh some work there. Um, he was doing some some work there. I, I don't want to get into the story, but it's a cold story. And he had to do some some shit and work for um, you know community service or whatever okay. for Robin Petgrave, and uh, and he saw the program mm. with the kids and and my son be always playing video games and he don't never be like you know wanting to play football. He can catch good as a motherfucker, but he don't like playing sports and shit. So uh, Jack was like, "Yo, bro, I think your kid will like this uh, this um, you know aviation program mm. over here at Compton." So he brought me over there. And the day I got there, man, they took me. My son didn't even used to talk really. Like he was a real shy kind of mm. kid, introvert. In, yeah, introvert type of nigga. Man, Shout out he, to Robin. Yeah, man, they, he he hey, walking in. Much, you did any flying in your life? 
What, taking flights? Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. How about helicopters? Never. You have any thought, fears, concept of it? Nah, I ain't got no, with them, them little phobias and shit. None of that? No, 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 no. I'm, nah, I, I ain't been on no helicopter, have, though. What about you, Supervision, been on a helicopter? Um, yeah, I was on a helicopter uh, early, earlier in life. I, I'm not good with the helicopter. I, I don't like it. I went on one with Robin. Yeah, 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 bro. Uh, yeah, it's I'm like being on a go-kart, that. bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm hey, good hey, on so, that. So, 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 uh. It hit my citizen that I believe twice in one week, a, a plane went down in Compton. No, one on early ender. Like, what was up with that shit? I don't know. How long ago? How long ago? Probably last month. No, that one on. No, that was, no, it was on. A, it was off of uh, early ender, bro. and Central. I remember that one. Cause I text Robin, like everything okay. It was one right on my mama street. Like See, some, somebody, somebody landed it on the street right by the tennis court on it Central. Was, yeah, it was towed. That's hundred fifty nine. What was on early ender? Yeah. Right? Uh, uh, that, that, that one. That, that one that you talking about was flying out of Long Beach. It flew out of Long mm. Beach and just landed like that, but um, nah, the, 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 you know, from you know, what I mean, my observation and my consistency, and from my experience of knowing uh, real shit from bullshit, mm -hmm. being able to really smell it out, uh, they take real good care of their planes. Mm -hmm. They they uh they're very uh they're very um you know uh, start uh very disciplined and, and starch about. You know, um, you know, really. Man, but you sure. both, the both of you already expressed a very low fear factor, just in comparison to the ad average person. So feed your fear, bro. I mean, <laughs> I uh, uh, that starve your fear, again. feed your I, faith. I, 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 no, 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 starve no, your I, fear, I, bro. I commend you though, because because it it sounds, and I'm pretty sure you 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 a good father, because you you seem like you hands on. You got you wear many you yes, wear many definitely. hats. You know what I'm saying? You got yes, you got the shit going with the bud. And he, he been in and out these motherfucking buildings with the music. Yes, sir. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how the fuck you playing Madden, but you, 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 like like you know what I'm saying? No, like, nah, they, they commend you, and there ain't no excuse for nobody if niggas doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I appreciate like, you know, that, bro. That's that's tough right there. That's hard. I like, need to start learning how to uh, navigate these streaming platforms like you do, my nigga. So I'm fucking. I think y'all you, you know what? I think y'all owe each other. Just a, a dialogue on a platform. Oh, that's my nigga. I think he. I think. You introduced me to my blood cousin. Mm -hmm. like, he has a, he and has it's a funny because it's funny because there's a lot of niggas out here that's watching us right now that know me and know this nigga. Yes. And they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't introduce nah. us because they don't know what the, what we capable of. Nah. And we both, you know what I mean? We both confident and cocky and and both, you know what I mean? It was the we'll lay hands on niggas. It was the creator because. You like one of my day unos with this sure, with this grind out here. You shocked me and surprised yeah. me. And like, I got a new blind nigga interviewing me. No, because I got a, my my definition of day uno is not only someone you knew from way back, but it's someone that's been one hundred since day one. Absolutely. So much you one of my day unos too, because we got a gang of reasons to disagree and be on opposite side of a whole lot of issues. Right. Even some of the issues that has made him public and popular. Right. I can naturally go with the typical political angle and we wouldn't be as cool as we are, but we right. both chose to like throw that shit to the side and treat each other like men. So y'all both my day ones and neither of you, well, he knew what was up. You didn't know what was up. No, I didn't know what was up. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking open up. My vi you want to know what, what my vision says yes, right I now? Do. Yes, I'm going to hook up with this blood nigga and open the yeah. shop in Englewood. A dispensary's yeah. coming yeah. soon, nigga. You yeah. see my vision. Oh, you just yeah. you just brought yeah. me my yeah, new part. question. Nigga. Munch, nigga. Why, they do, why they do the Snoop Dogg mural like that? Just because he brought that up. Oh man, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a yeah, that was kind of dirty. It's a res <laughs> no, that, that was kind of dirty. No, that's a respect. He shouldn't have had the blue rag suit on. Respect thing. Why why couldn't be black and gold, bro? Right. Why why couldn't be back black and gold, bro? He did that in the Super Bowl, got away with it. Now you want to make it a forever thing. It's too Man, much. Man, bro. Yeah, yeah you wasn't oh, supposed to. Long Beach is an all crib city, just like Ingle was a predominantly all blood city, bro. Yes, sir. Why would you do that, bro? I, Mac 10 can't put that on the side. I don't think it was his idea. I don't think it was his idea. I think that. it was. You think it was? I think it was. I don't think he would have. No, I don't think he would have disrespected. Want me to he tell you why I think it was? Mm. Because. He just he, thought he was bigger than. He's on the other side of. 50 and he's trying to solidify mm. himself as a crib this late in the game. You missed that chapter, bro. You been rich all these years. You didn't get the mm. get your crib on, bro. I respect Snoop Dogg craft, but I don't respect this cripping. Mm. Anytime you this that old to my make America crib again, mm. you you tripping. What are you talking about, bro? Mm. And then and then I, I get it. Like niggas vandalize the shit on the side of your building and they say Inglewood NHP. And then I noticed you you paint the whole motherfucking jack in the box blue in the NHPs. So I'm like, this nigga trolling. But you know what I mean? 
I don't know. I, I would think a nigga you know, at that age is, is going downhill and like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, don't do that. Versus right. make America crip again. Right. And, and anytime you feel comfortable wearing what he wore, wore on sensual seduction. Right. That, 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 you, that was some weird shit. Anytime right? you can get comfortable in that lane, you should be comfortable respecting, even though you Snoop Dogg. Shit. You in Inglewood. Yeah, you in Inglewood. You got to respect that. <laughs> Inglewood's so cold. For a brief moment, the form was painted blue. That didn't last too long. How the fuck? Why the fuck? What happened? I, I, nobody <laughs> speak on that. Hey, no, Did y'all press the politicians to get that thing back red? No, somebody told me how it got that way, and I forgot, and I should have remembered that shit. I, I never knew that the form had got painted. Oh, yeah, it was blue, blue. for about two So minutes. when the church when the church had it, right? When the uh, uh, no, no, faithful after the, central? After, after that, it got painted red. About so, 10, 11, 12 years, that motherfucker uh, was right, blue. So, so, so after the church had it, they sold it to... The uh, Madison Square Garden group. My thing is, I don't know all that. I just Madison knew that Square Garden was red all my life. All it was blue for about 10, 12, 15 years. Yeah. Then it went right back to red. I spotted the next step is the Rams. They need some red uniforms. <laughs> That's not correct. No, no, that ain't going to happen, my nigga. Hey, Morningside, that ain't gonna happen, my Morningside nigga. High School, right around the corner, is red. Yeah, but Morningside been trash. The the Morningside been trash. Since I could see, brought, I swear to God. But y'all brought me to a new question. Y'all brought me to a new question. I mean, question. the only nigga that they That's ever had I, that come that. out of there is Byron. No, nah, uh, Byron Scott, Byron Eldon Campbell, Scott. Lisa Leslie, Eldon Campbell like, from, like from, from my Scott neighborhood. Too. But look, I got, y'all brought me to a new question. This nigga look like Byron Scott. That's when he brought his name up. Hell no. Nah. Just check this out. Byron Scott check this out, y'all. Do you know Easy E is getting a street named after him in Compton? Shout out Easy. Shout out Easy. Shout out Easy. But but on on a grown level. Just based on his expectations that maybe the Rams should consider the gang culture. Not the gang culture. Why would they be red? Because the the the, the school right around the corner from it is is is, is that's the man that school is unrelevant. You, you, you yeah, you the school does go, not dig the Rams being blue and gold before 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 before, before was before, before nigga. Anaheim, yeah, was come on, my nigga. Hey, but How this, does this high school hey, listen, dictate? This, this, what I this want, nigga want Rams jerseys to be red. This is what I want the Rams <laughs> and the Clippers to do. Go to L.A. Don't put that shit in Inglewood then. Hey, if, if, if you, if, Yo, no, 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 no. You gonna bless y'all? Hey, no, no, no. You gonna bless At y'all, man? Give us the Inglewood Clippers. Give us something to be proud we of. We giving y'all that. Well, no, we giving know, y'all some bro, red ass jerseys you, you, in Inglewood. No, the Clippers. You, you, y'all gonna love that shit. Currently, y'all got a hell of a Inglewood has one of the most influential mayors they have ever had. Absolutely. Take, y'all need to be at him about that. Yeah, butts. Hey, you need to be at butts. He. He need to be thinking like that. I'm going to introduce you to Butts. I know Butts. Mayor Jane Butts ain't fucking with me, dog. Oh, no, no, nah, you, but he, he will fuck with you. you it's your the image capacity gotta be you come in. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you why Butts have to fuck with you, bro. Because mm. you're a community leader in his city. Mm. You feel me? You, Looking you, for you, redemption. You, nigga, listen, my nigga, you could, you could, he only had 13,000 votes that made him the mayor. Wow. Nigga, I, I know, I got 13,000 motherfuckers. On my phone, you know what I mean? Like, wow, that's you know what a, I mean? I, that's a that's a deep statement. Yeah, thirteen thousand uh, votes. Yeah, yeah. The, 13, Compton, the ex Compton mayor told me I should run for the mayor. Of Compton. I was gonna run for mayor. He told me don't cut my hair, don't start hey, smoking hey, or nothing. But, oh yeah, thank you, Munchie. Thank you. you, Munchie. I appreciate Likewise. you. Both but, but I gotta switch my, my ID back to Inglewood so I can vote for the. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, vote oh, for me, pot. my nigga. And, and 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 I need you. I need you to come sit. You know what I mean? Come like keep your eye on things for me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I need you to be like city manager or something. You know what I mean? Because listen, all all these great motherfuckers, all these mayors and politicians, all these motherfuckers was gangsters thirty years ago. All these niggas, right, all these every you can't walk on the right side of life without being on the wrong side of life and knowing what that side I is. I, I, I hear, I, I get your point. For real, my nigga, but ain't no, nobody but, just no, been righteous wait, wait their whole motherfucking life. That's not true. Uh, who, who we talking about? Because, Jesus? No, no, the thing is, when you speak of absolutes, you're definitely almost guaranteed to be wrong. You so it's somebody that's been righteous their whole life, from the time they was born till now? People make mistakes, but I mean, being on a, cer- right. a certain side of things, there are people that have been on the right side of things right. the whole that's, time. That's, that's real. And then there are people who have not, you know, went f- far off the path like we may have. But oh. big homie, ain't right and wrong relative. Hey, hey ma- ma- What's right Mayor for you James could be wrong was, for me. Yeah, let him go. He, he, he was, he was, he was, uh, what Santa Monica police at first versus but, yeah. but, but what's the mayor that was in Compton that went to, went to the penitentiary? Oh, Omar Bradley. Omar Bradley, nigga, he was right in peace. My nigga's face from Elm Street, his nephew. A G. But I'm trying to tell you, look, he gave his look, my man. That's probably, yeah, but no, I agree with y'all. I'd rather but, have a mayor like Omar Bradley that that's grounded and know the know, know his community and know, you know what I'm saying. 
definitely. Yeah, that's that's what the James whole concept plan. of a mayor was. What we have so, done. So what about Doran? Doran's horrible. Mm. Doran, Doran was selling, uh, sending all the homies to YA and, and they, for the smallest things and then. I was uh, in Inglewood Youth in the judicial. They had a cold youth. He was stealing money court. from the city and they told him uh, re resign or face prosecution and he resigned, he stepped down. He's He was a fucking crook. Right. But, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but, James, James, what politician but, ain't no crook? He was beating his, his, his wife ass and, and the cases keep disappearing and shit. He he kick ass, nigga. But guess what? I got a I got James a, Buss was an Inglewood. I got a 15 uh, year old son, officer, right? Too. Right. All his life, he started playing flag football at Darby. And then for his mama, we've been at Rogers and Darby. I've been there every weekend, twice a week for the last 12 years, man. I used to be at the park today, and then on the wall right here, it'll be nothing. And the very next day, it'll be a big ass, bright red CK on that bro. Like, <laughs> shout out to all the Eaglewood riders that have seen oh, me oh, popping in and out I, I, that Eaglewood, gave me my pass, because I've been there. They get the green grass fucked up and think it's sweet. What? And then they get to popping out them backyards. Yeah, but yeah. See, see, I don't know if you got a relationship with J man, J Jerry, the butts nigga. Yeah, but, I don't. Got a relationship. But, but oh, he does. It's a, he should get in contact with a nigga like me, because everybody know KP from Rolling Honeys. KP son played for Big U shit. What's the Colts? The no, the uh, they the Rams. At the time, that was the Colts, right? Oh, okay, yeah, they probably was. Yeah, okay, yeah. they had a scrimmage against Inglewood, so the scrimmage was at Darby Park. You know, saying the homies, that's where we dwell at. KP, oh. he got his little chair out there. He just watching his son play. You know, they running a the scrimmage. I ain't about to mainly because I know him personally, but I ain't about to let nothing explode. You know what I'm saying? Right. So these people, they need some like niggas with that type of influence. You know what I'm saying? Instead of always trying to like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, yeah. you know how to correlate shit, but you know, the, you know, the, you, you, know and, the, you and Skip spoke up on a subject that was associated with Big U name recently that a lot of controversy goes around. And you, the two of you guys' commentary seem to be in favor of Big U uh, when it comes to the grid. And, you know, of course, that's a homie, and I'm hoping for the best when his image is brought into question online. Um, when initially the boy S. Wolf uh, exposed the contract with the grid, it looked real fishy to me. And I just didn't believe that Big U would put a signature on something of that nature. After discussing it in public with Big U, he told me before he signed the contract that he had the language actually readdressed and reworded. And then Kev Mack was here and he confirmed that. Um, how do you weigh um, you, Skip, shout out to Skip, putting y'all LA street reputations online in defending the, the grid in the big U situation. How do you balance that with the controversy with Gunner now? And he's being labeled as Gunner Security. Do you see a consistency, a discrepancy, or what? Okay. I seen, uh, I ain't gotta say his name, said, oh, he taking up for a nigga from 60s. It ain't about blood at Chris Bar, real and fake, right? Right. And I know for a fact, based on the grid situation, then they ain't snitching and like the nigga Skip said, they disperse money and they feed their employees, they this, 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 and that. And now I could show you after we done on my phone a Prolocity app. So I ain't gotta be there, but I could clock in the work right now saying I'm doing some shit in the East Coast and some uh da 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 or you know what I'm saying, squashing the beef or you know what I'm saying? We not actually calling the police. I, it's an app. I'm saying I'm in the 20s. They had a problem with the 30s. I squashed it. Or it's a funeral in the East Coasts. And I need Spider to be over there with me because my homie's over there. So I got in contact with Spider, make sure shit go cool. So you tapping in through this app and clocking in, saying what you're doing. Nigga, I could be right here doing the interview. So the nigga don't know what he's talking about. Then I go to start with Instagram and say conspiracy theories. And like, what the fuck is conspiracy? Like, and that's that. Okay, as far as gunning, if you got a security company, is you the people calling to get security? You go ask them, is he gay? Uh, are you a snitch? Is your baby mama fat? You just go take the job. I mean, I don't think the nigga really looking at it on some on some shit like that. I don't think Big, you should have defended the fact that he's not a snitch. That's what I agree. But but if you getting your your money and you you bodyguarding for the nigga or whatever, then, then nigga do it. And, it, is and, what and, it is. and then that one dude can't say nothing because all you do is empower snitches and niggas that ain't right. 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 So right. but 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 that grid thing, bro. That's that's cap because. I'm employed with, with, with Skip, and I ain't a snitch, and I don't have a BlackBerry. I didn't even know they still sold them. Mm. Nigga, like, what the fuck is you talking about? And I, <laughs> nigga, nigga, 
Man, that little niggas just, you niggas just want to, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if if that boy and Big U were still friends, it wouldn't even be a thing right now. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So you want to reach out to Gangster from Santana and applaud him on this, you know what I'm Shout saying? Shout out Gangster from Santana, but. No, 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 nothing I don't know gangster. why, yeah, why, like, who, <laughs> you know But you want to reach out to everybody just so they could have something bad to say about this nigga. But, but you was, you was, What's you was, your perspective why he feels so motivated and excited to run all his energy and politics through Crips, though? Why he's so into Crip? I want to why he's such on Crip dick so hard? I think I think everything is to is is is, is like motivated, like is is big you motivated. You want to irritate big you. Are oh, you a Crip? But look, hey, these my buddies. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, it's like a trolling mm. That's mechanism. Weird shit, bro. But 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 that shit is easy to see through. But but if you even for you. Oh, clearly, clearly. <laughs> but, but but people gotta stop being pawns though. Like he called uh, the Melly Mel nigga and, and was recording this conversation, and then he, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it wasn't a good look. You know what I'm saying? And he played niggas against each other. The Crips. He played it because the Bloods ain't fucking with him to, to play niggas against each other. Right, that's my but, point. But buddy, 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 he he playing the Crips against each other. You know what I'm saying? Based on what makes him able to do that in your in your mind. Cause niggas want they they looking for a nigga to throw him a bone, thinking they go get an opportunity, and he ain't go ain't gonna let nobody grow. He ain't he ain't gonna do it. Mm -mm. But I guess they see if you have a history. He has a history of paying, looking out for, and supporting Crips. Um, before Blueface, it was the homegirl. He been buying uh, uh, condos and paying mortgages and paying for braces and tuitions since the '90s. So he's always invested in Cripping for. Financially, hey, well shout out Blueface, bro. Your next shout song out, should yeah. be called Trick Tour Your Secret because he's a trick. He paying for braces, nigga. Nigga, oh, nigga, Bob, Bob, I, I, Bob. Nigga, 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 I'm mad. I gotta pay for my daughter braces every month. He paying for a bitch braces. Yeah, yeah wrong. My daughter braces every month. Come wow. on, bro. I love you. You know, nigga. let me say, I had well, I didn't pay for them all, but I had two daughters that had braces, two sons. They out of them. They in and out of them. It's crazy because my daughter, when she came, you know what I mean? Because she she just called me on the phone when she was at the dental uh, uh, people, and they ran my, you know, got my credit information, and then she, uh, you know, she came by the shop later on, and she's like smiling, and she's like, "Dad, I got a uh, Visalign. They're invisible." I said, "They are." <laughs> Is uh, to tell me this. Uh, do, to, wait, that's right. Damn, that's I had braces show. twice. Cause I never saw invisible no. braces. Like when when I could see, they wasn't out yet. It no, was still like the yet. metal it's, mouth. It's like a it's right. like a, it's so like a lot of like mouth. They are right. So my people, do you know braces now is like a it's a almost fashion like statement. yeah. It's like a yeah. It's bitches think they look. Excuse me, females think they look. It's an attraction. Like it's I, a I sexy agree. Thing. It's jury for well, the teeth well, for females. Well, I wanted to ask you all that, but then I stopped the question. But do you all feel like a female with braces is more attractive? I do. You do. Okay. You know what? The whole thing about it is, the blessing is how beautiful my teeth is, and 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 when the bitch is with me, talk your shit, don't call oh, your spit. You hear me? Oh, oh, hey, yeah, he sound, he got some pimping in his blood. Hey, 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 hey Munchie. Yeah. Hey, Munchie. Yeah. Hey, I, I'm 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 all smiles on these bitches. You no, hear me? For real, I ain't nothing smiles. to front about. about. For real, big for pearlies. Real. You know oh, what I mean? Right. Huh? Hey, you know, I, 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 my mama it. used to whoop me for, for not brushing my teeth twice a day. Like I had a, like a, a stern mom. Hey. Like she was like, "No, nigga, I, you can't be blind with yellow teeth." I snatched my braces out every time I went to jail. Like, shit, I ain't about to go home. Hey, you sound like Big Sparta. My brother Sparta. No. He was like twelve. He took what? I'm in a cell like this. Said. That's just how SBI did. <laughs> it's on my squabble, mama. squabble time, nigga. I ain't about, you ain't about to just so barely hit my up, lip and cut lips and all kind of shit. Hey, I got a lot. So of So you had the Visalines or the metal? Oh, the regular. I had the metal guards. So tell me this. Not knowing the 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 mechanics, how you knew they was coming off if you just scratched them, like what? For me? Yeah. No, 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 no. You just this knew they was gonna come before off before I got shot. I took them off. You talking about? You thought you know I did that? As a kid, you in jail? You, I'm no, I, I, I had it as a teenager into a dog. I kept taking off. So I was in the county, like nigga, I'm popping this wire off, and you know what I'm saying? Just knew it was. You knew it to pop off. Hell yeah, I'm about to get this shit off because man, I'm not going home, nigga. <laughs> who go, who go tighten my, who go do my upkeep, nigga? And then I'm about to be squabbling, nigga. The the neighborhood crips don't care about my braces. Right. Oh uh, yeah, these gotta come off. I'll pick it up when I get out. That's deep. Damn, that's crazy. I never heard of a nigga. So, so you needed the um. Go ahead. Nah, he needed the the shit that you can pull in and out. What was those called? Retainers. Retainers. You needed retainers. Yeah, I got to the re retainer process and I never put it in. That's why my shit spaced back out. A retainer is a lot less extensive by the way it looks. It doesn't fix braces. it. No, it. Re I didn't just put think it in. about the definition. <laughs> Retain. 
keeps whatever the braces has accomplished, it's there to retain that. Right. That's yeah, all it does. That's all right, it but does, the thing yeah. is, they gave me this bullshit of Visalign shit, and it felt like Halloween teeth, and I didn't like it. I wanted the old school mm. metal one. You know what I'm saying? It felt stupid in my mouth. I was like, I ain't wearing this shit. But you got to trust whatever these bitches is telling you. No, no, I don't. If she said it was cute. Over and over again, you gonna end up believing her. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. You gonna fuck nah, with me? Munchie, what I, I like. think, Munchie, I think you should listen to that bitch. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's a multiple amount of bitches, uh, look, 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 if it's a multiple amount of bitches, look, he told on this so early. Hey, 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 when niggas, when, when that's when, just gospel. When, whatever she when, say. When no, wearing, no, it's what? No, no, no. I said whatever. Jogger sweats. They like say it's better than what you say. My ankles, like it's it's shit. My baby. Oh, the new joggers. Yeah, like it's certain shit I don't I don't fuck with. Like, and I ain't gonna do it. Like, but you know, but you know, it's deep. Certain shit grows on you by seeing it over and over again, so it's not growing on you. And it's because you ain't getting used think, to it I enough. Think, I think times just changed, bro. Because you know the, the clothes just fit a little more. Yeah, Nigga, yeah, niggas yeah. ain't wearing but five. You probably don't understand how half your little homies look. No, I, no, I do. I ain't oh. been shot that long. Okay. Yeah. How you and, know? And, 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 and look, my nigga, half these niggas can't dress anyway. Fuck it. Keep it one thou while these niggas Bro. can see and look like bozo. Gotta, gotta, and that's not a, that's not like on accident. I, that's not a fad. Nigga, these niggas just can't dress. I got a closet. That's some real shit. I got a, I got a closet full of, full of stag jeans. I, like, I, I, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Gadget from Egg Trade Gangs. He got, he got the stag jeans for the fair price. Nigga pull up on him. You know what I'm saying? Now, nigga be straight. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought I thought God didn't bought a couple pieces from my my guy. Yeah, nigga, yeah. nigga, the logo, nigga, the Richard Hart logo. Hey, check out Richard Hart. That's the podcast on everything. Follow you know, Richard, Richard Hart, Hart on Hart. IG yeah, yeah, and on all up, podcasts. We've been having some Shout out to Mariah. Guests. Yeah. Shout out to Alex. Shout out to the whole team. Tell us what's up with your film um, career. Well, yeah. I know you active with the film creating. You got something Absolutely. real hot right now. Absolutely. I got a new film about to come out uh, called Passion of a Hustler. Supervision, Passion of a Hustler. Y'all can look on passionofahustler.com and uh, watch the trailer. I got a, I got a, you know, real reputables in it. Battle DJ Battle Cat, uh, my man Rhythm D, legendary niggas uh, is in it representing everybody but me. No, I'm Every, everybody but you. But I got you in part two. No, nah, I course, need you. I already in know. It. You from knee high, nigga. I, I need I you in know. it. You got stories. You no, know, you say the best for last. He had me all in the end of the. He had to save it. I got to wait to the last one. I got you. Nah, I'm doing a new. I'm doing a new one, part two. I couldn't fit everything in the part one. You feel me? So, so I'm doing part two, and and uh, and, and I'm gonna get. Uh, uh, niggas that I left out or niggas that I couldn't catch up with. You know, this nigga's a hard nigga to catch up with, but, but you know, to God. I appreciate that, but I, you know what you never he, did? You got right back at me, nigga. We and, we and Munchie B tried to put you on the spot and get you to clarify how you haven't, nothing happened to your vision. You just lost your sight. You never, vision. you never explained the difference between vision and sight. Or did he? Yeah, I explained no, 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 that. No, no, he did. I explained he that did. in depth. He did, because yeah. vision, was the future and all that. Man, these monkey niggas but you is- You never got to what sight was. You, you described vision, but oh, what is sight? Nah, nah, sight? He said sight was the smokers outside, the motherfucker. Yeah, the, you the, could just, it's sight, is, sight is just face value, just right here, this mic is in front of me. So, look, are if, just vision and sight, are they the only ones that have a spectrum or the smell? and sniff have a spectrum. Does touch and feel have a they spectrum They all have too? spectrums of, of okay. their own. They're all in their own circumference. So I can touch you without feeling you. Hey, my nigga. So hey, my I nigga. I don't know if, if this is your, you, you know what I mean? I know Spider Locust is aggressive, nigga. You been grabbing me the whole interview, <laughs> nigga. I mean, just no, because, you're grabbing the shit. I've been shake, grabbing you well, too, well, though. You shake this nigga hand. He shake your hand like you're trying to break your knuckles. So when I grab you, I want to make sure you know it's nothing too soft. Oh, it's no. Gonna be, Nah, you you've been yes, a gangster yeah, my whole, my whole yeah likewise. yeah, and I grab a nigga. You know what I mean? I've always you know what I mean. I, I've always been taught taught to be firm. I'm, I'm gentle with with women. Of you course. know what I mean? Kids, babies. You know what I mean? Niggas, I'm, I I don't you know what I mean? Ain't no gentle with a nigga. Right. You feel me? Cause I need to let this nigga know, nigga, I will snatch your ear off the side of your face. Hey, facts over feelings, you feel me? the alpha male uh podcast, you feel me? Yeah, I, tap in. Too, <laughs> no, you definitely you can hey, give hey, me a just y'all fuck with me, my nigga, cause no, that's already I, I like you you and this nigga, y'all y'all the coolest niggas, my nigga. I think we from got, the east side and west side. Hey, the two of you, me as a trio, but the two of you, shit. there's a chemistry here, there's an idea, there's a concept. Concept. You brought it together. We're trying to build this yeah. platform over here, this umbrella. So we we looking for talent. We looking for concepts. People that can hold their own. Yeah. People that can conduct, carry conversation, not just conversations. Intellectual interviews. Bring out things in people that we they don't really intend on exposing. Absolutely. So we building over here at Street TV, man. We well, appreciate nigga, you. You, you, you got something working, nigga. You got me to. You know what I mean. Nigga, you know what I mean. Show a prosthetic. No. Nah, let God. these niggas know what but time it was. How many niggas got? 
Uh, bust I down. Stop bust down prosthetics. No. <laughs> hey, we going back. Hey, we going back to get them bigger, bitches. Hmm. I'm gonna get clusters Be- all around. I, I'm gonna start designing eyes. You know what I mean? Like become. Tell like, me this. Tell me this. I'm gonna ask both of you this, and I'm gonna let you die decide. For you, too much. you go first. I want both of you to <laughs> tell me this. Tell me something that you feel like you can see that the average person can't see because you can't see what we can see. Whoa, that's deep. The flaws in niggas. Mm. Mm. The flaws in niggas. He said it, but look, bro, I can see, I can see the level of, of potential uh, co- uh, of competence in a man. Potential no. competence almost synonymous. I want potential I, and I, competence. It's almost the same thing. Fuck no, man. That ain't the same. Your thing. competence and your potential. To, to, to complete any no, task. No, 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 wait, no, no. Wait, you can apply wait, 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 potential. Wait, hold, wait, hold, hold, no, no, no. hold the fuck up. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, fuck no. no. I said bro. almost. So no, 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 almost don't get it. Bro. Check me out. Check me out. Potential. Your competence. It's a hint. It's a hint. It's, it's a hint of uh, of doubt. You, but, I'm wait, but wait, 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 wait. That's not being confident. I'm gonna get the job. Your competence and your potential to achieve any said thing. Those words are synonymous in that sentence. You can have potential. With no competence and get nowhere, that's or 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 stumbling and sto- or, or, or stumbling get ahead. I, I Please, spotted, somebody spotted, look up the definition. I, I, of yeah, just look it up. You ain't gonna hear me say I got the potential to smash everybody on the, on the, on this beat. I'm gonna say I'm gonna be confident enough, so I'm gonna slide on everybody. It's a difference. Well, no, you, you don't. We didn't say confident. We said competent. No, oh, competent. Said competent. Yeah, competence. Oh. So it's competence and, and potential. potential. Okay. almost synonymous. What does competence mean? The ability that means to level d- level to understand. You have I, what I, the I, fuck I, I, does that I, have no, to no, do no. with potential? I, 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 that's why I got quiet because when I think I'm like you're not no, competent, competent. You're not competent. competent. You're not competent confidence. to stand trial. Oh, you right? know what? I wouldn't throw you off like that. Your competence, your competence dictates your ability to do anything. Your competent or your incompetent. Hey, let me you tell you, how you competent. Okay, okay, you okay, are. So your potential. Like, able. Yeah, able. Hey. So or can you? And your potential is what you're. Can but, I tell this dude hey, how competent see, he is, I, I, how, how he just dis- demonstrate competence to me? When I walked in the room, now I don't know, Spider, Spider, this nigga been been setting this shit up for for weeks. Cause I talked to this nigga a couple weeks ago and, yeah. d- and ain't talked to him to this morning, didn't tell me shit. Right. Right. When I walk in the room, <laughs> the first thing Spider do, my 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 nigga Jay engaging, because he you know, no know, know my guy. Boom, they get they hug. I step around Jay. Embrace Spider. What's up, cuz? Right? Cuz that's my real oak. I'm sad. Right? All right. Then he like, hey, meet my co-host. Right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Munchy B. Right? Now Munchy I'm thinking, Busy B. Now, now the nigga Munchy never gets up. So the first thing I'm thinking, this nigga's cocky as a motherfucker, right? <laughs> the second thing I'm thinking is, hold up, I know that name from somewhere. Uh, but then I'm thinking Money B from uh, Digital, uh, Digital Underground because that's my low, that's my, that's nigga, my nigga, Money B. and he kind of short in in the way right. my nigga was sitting in the chair and I and I wanted to make sure he didn't say Money B, okay, right? So he said Munchy B. So I when I shook Munchy B hand, I'm like, oh, what up, cuz, right? And yeah, and him. I'm not knowing. Uh, uh, and then you tell me, nah, that's Munchy B from Inglewood. So I had to go back to my nigga, like, nah, bro. My bad. I didn't know it was you. But the trick thing about it is when we shook hands, we just shook hands. He never showed me where his hand was. I never showed him. We just reached out and embraced each other. It was, that's competence. His competence told him, reach your hand out. I'm reaching mine out. Because I, I, I didn't know he couldn't see. And that nigga knew I couldn't see. But right. nevertheless. Um, yeah, I knew for like two weeks. Right. That's how... Me and him supposed to being sat at this table across from one another on a whole nother reason. Like I said, because of scheduling, we didn't get it done. Right. But I prioritize him being here once you became my guest just based on the things that you have in common that the majority of us don't have in common. You got that vibe. This about to be a big show, I bro. Believe, you I got believe that, that vibe. I believe Everything. that. You that Definitely. vibe, nigga. Definitely. But he answered and you didn't. He said he could see the flaws. What can you see? that you feel that we can't see based on the fact that you necessarily aren't able to see everything we can see and it gives you the advantage of seeing what? Well, you know what I mean? Listen, I, my intelligence can't be validated by ignorance. A lot of times mm-hmm. with people that can see, they're applied, they, they, they think that 
I'm using the same applications that they're using to navigate my life. And I'm using a total, a total different process. You know what I mean? And then the funniest shit is what they try to do. They try to um, minimize the process and kind of elementary it and say, oh, so you you count your steps to find the door. No, nah, nigga, it's rhythm. Because mm. I know, mm. nigga, you know what I mean? All it's right. like, mm. you, you know what I mean? It's like. Certain shit don't move. I tell a motherfucker all the time. They be like, hey, uh, you got to step up. Or, uh, uh, make sure you step down off that curve or that curve coming up. It's like that motherfucking curve ain't moved. That motherfucker was the same curve I stepped up when I got off the car, nigga. You know what I mean? Hey, that, that's the stubborn, prideful shit. That, that, that's what that, I, 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 I got. You know go through that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, nigga, I, I know. Do you guys <laughs> still be able to appreciate movies? I love oh, yeah, yeah. So, I'm, a, I'm a movie buff. What about Ray Charles? I Jamie. love him. Uh, I the, love the his film. The Jamie yeah, Fox. I love the film. It was a great film. That nigga Jamie Foxx, the girl. He did right? that shit. He did that, that, that shit. Nigga dope. So what about him touching on the females' wrist and shit to know if they That's cap. That's, that's cap. That's cap because cause, cause these bitches got cap. fucked up diets. They be having big ass <laughs> linebacker shoulders and skinny okay. wrists. Fuck got, all that. So what, so what is it? Voice, smell? What would be the more of an indication? No, nah, you know what? Me personally, I'm just a I'm just a good looking nigga. No, no homo or none of the real shit. But all the bitches know what's happening. What's happening? <laughs> hey, hey y'all, listen. Hey, listen. Ugly bitches but don't like you know me, bro. Like? Ugly oh. bitches don't like me, bro. Ugly bitches, they, they they like you know they get insecure around I'm me, my nigga. Ugly bitch. Hey, 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 my hey, nigga, hey, ugly hey, bitch gonna be quiet, nigga. Hey, spider, I, I been you know what I mean? I, I been since 2012, bro. My my track record smooth, bro. <laughs> no, hey, yo, 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 I don't want to put you on blast. I don't know what you got going on personally, but your, smoothest, your legacy when it comes to romance spreads all the way across to the east side in my real personal oh, section. Man, east Coast bitches love me. <laughs> Shout out to the east <laughs> side. I had an east coast I, bitch one day back, right? back in the day, I, I, yeah, I, I, years I, I, ago I, I, when I used to low ride with Kiki Loco. Okay, you know what I mean? Kiki I, was, I, 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 Kiki Loco. I, I wouldn't blast no names or nothing like Please that, don't. but 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 I I I I had quite a few little. East of La Costa is dog. You know what I'm saying? They, they love me over there. They real recognize real. Yeah. Hey, listen, my nigga. Hey, listen. You got, and this is what I run with. We unicorns, cuz. Mm. Right? We run. We, we, you know what I'm saying? Listen, man. You know what I mean? The horses this bitch sees every day. When she sees a unicorn like us, my nigga, we're, we're like, Something totally different. You know what I mean? Sighted niggas is trying to shove the Fuck same game that, and dick nah, at I'm him. I'm not finna have you keep camping. Hey, my nigga, I'm not you disrespecting you, Sighted nigga, my no, nigga. Yes, you have been. <laughs> All podcasts, you been shooting Fuck shots that. at niggas with sight. I got, hey, like I got a hundred, I got a hundred bands. Hey, Let me buy your eyeball. He got a hundred bands. I got a, I want to buy your eyeball rounds. right now. I want that. Baby, I'm not hating on my unsighted brothers. We all have the same can, vision. Can I buy your iPhone, we have my nigga? Sight. You got to. And Stop I'm being promote, selfish. I'm promoting my partners the same way I promote myself. We equal choice. Hey, money this nigga right here playing hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's buy this nigga eyeball. This nigga crazy. Uh, <laughs> peace up. What's, that? Well, what's that movie? Get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Get out. We going to start out. buying you loser niggas eyeballs. Outside of sight, what would be the most... Um, Let me ask you this. I, I want to ask you. Have you, ever, have you ever met a blind homeless motherfucker? Cause I met a whole lot of them that can see. Have you ever met one blind homeless motherfucker? And Spider say I always get excited. I don't believe but, so. But I have to get excited when, you know what I mean? I mean, have you ever met a blind homeless motherfucker? Cause I, I met a lot of sighted blind. Uh, no, 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 I never met one. I haven't. All right. Do you believe it has something, because you asked me that, yeah. I immediately think it has something to do with. The blind niggas don't like to be homeless. Nigga. I don't we believe like that. Comforts. I don't believe that's what it does. I believe it has more to do with society's concern and care for those. Fuck no. Society don't give a fuck about us, my nigga. There's blind deaf people. I mean, I, I, my nigga, more power to them. I, I think a lack of sight triggers um, your, 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 the compassion in your, in your human counterparts more so than anything as far as... I mean, compassion to what level? To, to their benefit? I don't want to be disrespectful. Because you can't give me a parking spot, my nigga, and call that I compassion. I don't want to be disrespectful. Blind niggas don't even have cars. How, how the many, fuck you going to give many, us a parking spot? How many spot? blind people have a history of testimony just getting kicked in the crack of their ass or smacked in the back of their head and, uh, and having to figure out who did it just because? I'm not uh, meaning it, it ain't it, no. I think a lot of them. I think a lot of them. I think I think it's more it's it's more motherfuckers that get kicked in the ass and slapped in the back of the head. I broke every nigga here and that did it. Any nigga who touched me wrong, I fucked them up. I dump I dump all in that direction. And nigga raise they foot up at me. Nigga. But, see, but see, the two of you do uh, come pop from at a nigga real extremely quick. street 
gangster background, and that translates into your new um, fucking experience when you have people who knew you before and you able to keep that pocket around you and maintain that. Not being benefited from that type of fucking structure, it could be a different experience. Hey, right, but then you're a buster if you're taking a, taking advantage of somebody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Use a buster. Straight up. But but at the same but, time, man, it, at the I, same I time, really give like a nigga be, a fair one. I don't really Stand right in front of me and let me knock see, your face that's off. That's different. That's different if you just taking advantage of a guy that, that's inflicted. But what about a guy that's inflicted with a cold reputation? I don't want nobody to stall me out though. I ain't shit changed. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm give me a fair one. It's regular, regular. I mean, it ain't gonna re be completely fair, but you know, I'm, I even it out. I, it's all good. It all balances I, I, I out. I ain't complaining about nothing. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing, my my nigga. Here's the thing. It could be fair. Fair. Look, man, we all grown ass men. Hey, Niggas know fair. You know what I mean? When we gambling, it's it's a level of fair. Hey, that's why. That's it ain't why, trust is that, fair, bro. That's why I'm, I'm I'm with the game prevention, not the intervention, because mm. I want to like stop the kids before they get a reputation you can't forgive, mm. and then they get to, you know what I'm saying? Because I like the differentiation like between that, intervention and prevention. And, 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 prevention. And, and 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 the thing is, I know. I probably did some shit niggas ain't gonna forgive. So based on I'm in the situation I am, I ain't expecting a nigga to be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Nigga ain't, ain't, ain't tripping, I ain't. So let mm -hmm. me ask you this, M M Munchie B, do you forgive the nigga that shot you in the head that made you mm -hmm. Nah, hell nah. Because mm. I don't forget a nigga that, that hit me in the eye with a broken bottle. Mm. You know, uh, Even though, uh, was he your nah. age or was he older? Who, me? No, nah, he I know was, uh, he was, I know you're probably he was like my age. Normal. He was like my he age. He was a child. Yeah, he was like my age. You, know you still what mean? have no forgiveness. Um, no, nah, no, nah, I didn't have knowledge, no forgiveness. You have a knowledge of whom it is. Yeah, yeah, I, shit, I, I was looking dead at the nigga. You know what I'm wow. saying? I knew exactly. And the nigga, and the cold thing about it, uh, the uh, the nigga, the funniest shit is, the funniest shit is the nigga from Gangster. Now, um, I don't know if he's still alive, but the nigga actually came to me. And I never told nobody this. The nigga actually came to me. One day, we was uh, playing. We might have been like like maybe 12, 13 or something. And, and we playing hind go get it with some bitches in the <laughs> neighborhood. Bring it back to bitches. And, 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 nah, it's just real shit. We no, playing hind go get it. And and uh, it's a couple of my, my homies and then a couple of A-Trays because we used to be super tight. Okay. Right? And uh, and he was he from a trade he was from a trade then and uh, his name was Mikey and the nigga got at me and apologized like pulled me to the side like while we running after the bitches and pulled mm. me to the side and and it was real quick and I was kind of fucked up when he did it when he when when he when he did it I was fucked up that it was him and I was fucked up that that uh that that he said that but he he was a real nigga and and he was like you have any knowledge. Of who caused you to lose your your sight? Oh me? Yeah. Oh, bad I, question. I, I got no, no, no. I got I got shot by a homie. You lying? I got shot by a homie? Yeah. It, it's, man, it's, you. I would have never thought it's, that, it's bro. A, it's a college story. So nigga. It was an accident. No, I don't know. Nigga paid him to do it. Uh, a nigga paid your homie to do it? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. But how can? Uh, Whoa. Like, uh, all right. I had no idea. I got a lot of homies that don't, like, we don't see eye to eye from my neighborhood, right? Right. You know what I mean? That's like, the piece uh, Draylon. Line. You know what I mean? Uh, man, but the thing about it is, I don't think I would ever have a homie shoot me. I mean, uh, I'm sure some would like to, but I'm that nigga. You feel me? I'm going to gun you niggas I, I, down. I, I done seen that nigga play with me. shot by his homies, though. That nigga. Who? who yeah. Rest in peace, I've baby Dre line. Uh, uh, Del Dog got shot by his homies. So, I mean, it happens, but it's rest like. Rest in peace, Del Dog. Rest, rest in, in peace, peace baby Dog. Re rest I, in I, peace. I, I got fucked the homies, but I let the hood tell it on my rib cage and say, FRP, baby Snuzz. See, baby Snuzz got the same nigga that with me. He paid the nigga that done killed a homie, baby Snuzz. And then I got shot three months after him. But, you know, it was like. Man. Oh, so, in who, a, so yeah, baby man. Snugs is the one that shot you? No, baby Snugs is my bro. We like, ain't gonna, look, bro. look, y'all, look, look, y'all. I did not mean to go down no, that no, no, wormhole. No, no, no. We we down hell, we, nigga. We in the hell hole, and there ain't no yeah, coming yeah, up. But, nigga. but you know, I mean, I scratched the surface. You know, no, I, ain't I already going know up that shit. I, I mean, this shit interesting. No, That's what I need both of y'all to do. No, nah, nigga, have a documentary or something like. Yeah, we gonna wait for the documentary, man. Facts will finish the podcast. No, no, supervision, supervision. That's what I need you to do, supervision. I fuck the homies, but I let a hood documentary come in. I like that. Phrase, 
know, fuck the homies, let her hit. I might have to bite that, go part two. For real, for real. When you get it out. Uh-huh. Let the people know where they can find you, keep yeah. up with you, what you got coming. Next, I'm Supervision448 at, at IG and on all the uh, social media platforms, Supervision448. And then my, my movie is called Supervision Passion of a Hustler. I'm on IMDB and and uh, uh, the website, the official movie website is uh, passionofahustler.com. Absolutely. Munchy B, out. man, please. Shout out to and people we got before the we get up out of here, man. All right. Twitter, uh, 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 Instagram, uh, uh, yeah, Twitter, Instagram thread, MB underscore the mayor. That's MB underscore T-H-A mayor. And then, you know what I'm saying, tap into Rich at Heart, you know what I'm saying? Rich at Heart, Munchy mm-hmm. B, Mariah, uh, Factual mm-hmm. Feelings, the podcast, all produced by Alex Alonzo. When me and Munchy B get together, it's an East e. Woody thing. We call it Eastwood. Tap in or tap out, much love. The life we live right now is all about the money. So what you gonna do when you ain't got no money? Your foreign cars and all the bitches.